You sound good. All right, sounds better? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> got it evened out. Sweet. All right, All here right. we go. Where the hell are we at? Dad, you there? <laughs> Don't care. Try the music over. <laughs> going on without him. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm here. Hello. Okay. There you are. <laughs> All right. Take two. Don't mess this up. Action. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Some fucking shit happened. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Done. No. It's kidding. When last we left, whatever we have that passes for heroes, they had traveled to a distant island where they were faced with the wreckage of the ship captained by Bromir. Inside that ship, they found a room which was pristine in condition and seemed to be caught under some sort of magic. They entered into that room and were taken by none other than Zalabrak through a portal which appeared to take them to a different time and things got weird. They were attacked by a giant sea creature thing, but on the same ship, but the ship was fine and that was strange. Then, at the last possible moment, they used a penis to teleport themselves away <laughs> back to the relative safety of the beach. We now join our heroes immediately after exiting that last portal. Just as the desiccated penis falls from the sky to land directly on Adobo's forehead. <laughs> Pretty sure I caught the it. Rest, the rest of the Heroes find themselves lying in the sand on the beach next to the wreckage of Bromir's ship. And that's all that I have for that point. So, we're going to get our DM drug texted, right? Because, like, what? That all actually happened. Do you not remember? <laughs> I didn't say a single thing that didn't happen. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> You guys Get literally a DM, used man. a penis to <laughs> teleport yourselves to safety. I, mean, I knew it would come in handy one day, and it's great that I get it back, because then it could come oh, yeah. in handy now it's, now it's a magic penis. Now it's great, it yeah, sure. It's, it's it, my my, my, my uh, dwarven artifact has been imbued with magic. I like yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. It's good. It wasn't even from a dwarf. It was just a small penis. <laughs> if, you're, if, you're, if you're starting this series... Right now, you you definitely missed a lot. <laughs> We're tuning in right yeah. now. We don't even know what the hell's going on. Yeah, that's often how this sort of thing goes. Mm. So yeah, you are now on the beach next to the wrecked ship, um, having just escaped through a portal that Zalabrak opened using the penis as a focus. Um, I don't uh, know. Um, <clears throat> If you don't remember everything from the uh, from before, basically you sort of went through a little time loop thing, um, and then came back out. You sort of you saw slightly less old Bromir. Um, <laughs> yeah. Slightly older Bromir is uh, is still with you. He's laying on the on the beach, Bromir with some stubble, basically. <clears throat> and slightly yeah. older. Slight, okay. Slightly older than the one that you saw previously. And we, too, are all slightly older. No. I mean, everyone's always slightly older than they were previously. Was I, was I supposed everything. to get some spells? Was I supposed to do that? Were you, you leveled up already. Spells? I don't know if I even gave myself experience. I, I thought we leveled to level four. Do we get new spells? Oh, were well, you not you already level four, four? Like the previous session. Like oh. the one before that. No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, guys, let's see. I went I'm from 3k to 4k XP last time because I had the highlight of yesterday, so I saw the numbers. But, you, but you're ahead of me because I, I, I missed out a slightly. day. The thing is, yeah. the level is at 2400. I don't think I was 600 XP ahead of you guys. Uh, yeah, 2900 experience listed. I feel I like Lore is violating from... me right now. Mm. Mm. Right, then. Jesus, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm just flipping around through your pages, that's all. And be gent and be more gentle. <laughs> I'm serious, he's like giving me a seizure over here. 
<laughs> um, where's your okay? I've not everybody already got their shit leveled up. <clears throat> I definitely leveled up last time. I'm okay but, with like, before we started. I'm okay with uh, yeah. doing it during the week or something. Yeah, I think <clears throat> I think Thad that you were supposed to um, increase one of your ability scores by one and learn a new spell. Oh no! Wait, you have your you have your total slots already filled out. This is weird. Okay, you should you should be able to know. Yeah, I don't know what that sound is. You should be able to know. Um. Oh yeah, five five spells known. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're already done, Thad. Uh, that's okay. what I said, man. It was it was a previous session. You guys already yeah. did it. Yeah, you're already done. Okay. I think we're good. Anyway, beach sand. Butt cracks. Slightly older Bromir. All of us slightly, slightly older. older Super deep. Well, this is the fucked up Bromir. This is the yeah. This is the one that you ran into inside the uh, inside the ship. He's still my dad. It is yeah. <laughs> he was still your dad. They were both your dads. One just hadn't been fucking frozen yet. You, you have two both dads. Your one hadn't been attacked by the kraken yet. <laughs> we left him as he was getting attacked by the kraken. Mm. Yeah, because we're heroes. <laughs> Just like that. Well, Macius runs up to his father immediately, cradling his head <clears throat> and giving him comfort. Dada, dada. <clears throat> I don't. I'm just trying to wake him up. Dada. <laughs> he's uh, him. he's he's awake. He's just like visibly shaken and awkward. Awkward. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, going sorry. On. We were uh, we were attacked by that that creature, and well, that's how our, our ship was wrecked here. I'm I'm not sure why we were reliving that moment. I told you guys shouldn't fuck with portals. We all just wanted to throw him through it. I'm just saying. Well, I think we just saved his life there, actually. I mean, he could probably could have just like held onto his hand, and, like pushed the rest of the statue through, then pulled it back out. And you know, just whatever works. It doesn't matter. He's he's good to go for now. Can you can you move from here? Are you, are yes, you yes, 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 yes. Of course, of course, of course. He stands up. All right. Well. <sighs> I remember where we left our ship. Uh, it's just out to uh, out out a little bit. You came in on a rowboat. The rowboat is still there. You can see your ship out there. Well, what now, gentlemen? Since we 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 have secured the Bromir. Yeah, we I, got him. I'm struggling to remember why we needed. So, the, no, no, no. I'm asking. I'm asking the guys. <laughs> okay. What? What? Wait. We we got him. Sweet. Now. What, why do we need him so badly? <laughs> what are we uh, now we can make him proud. I want to say we have, like, the cult, the cult the thing, him. the Zalabrak, and we have the, the time travel and all this stuff. And, and and now 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 here's your dad. So cool. <laughs> Aren't you proud, Dad? This is my crew. I, Captain. Captain, you say, and this That's this right. is your crew. I'm his first mate. <laughs> I flip the uh, dwarven dick in the air like a quarter. <laughs> For now. I, I see. <laughs> well, um, if you if you have a functioning ship, that's certainly better than I'm doing at this moment in time, son. Yeah, we just have to take the dinghy over uh, to it, Dad. Um, wherever you want to go, let's go. Where should we go? Well, there's. Uh, uh, I mean. Let my father answer. Please. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm still a little shaken up. I'm sorry. One does not time travel and easily shake that shit off. Show some respect. You should eat some chocolate. That's what they did in the movie. What? Wait, what? Huh? What? Yes. They ate, choc they ate chocolate in the movie. Oh, oh yeah, chocolate. I have no idea what you're talking about. What do you what mean? It's in the Jeremy. movie. What movie? Uh, don't remember. 
<laughs> I just know for a fact it happened in a movie after they time traveled. Yeah, the movie. Oh, all right, ah. guys. Thanks for the time travel lunch. Let's all go out first. Someone, in, someone in chat room knows. It. Oh no, that was Harry Potter after Harry got hit by the Dementor. Never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't think that's the same. No, I, I got my movies mixed. I'm sorry. Dang. Just like in the movie. Okay. Um, the movie. So you're you're talking to Bromir, um, and he sort of uh, he indicates that he was he's very like stammered and heavy and uh, hard for him to to really speak. Um, just he's he's clearly shaken up by the whole experience. Um, but as you're in the in the the dinghy heading back out to your ship, um, he explains how uh, he came to the area um, by order of the. Uh, uh, the, of the queen to uh, investigate a particular disturbance um, that she had become aware of through her spy network, um, which was also why he came into uh, the area without really announcing himself, which is why you were not aware and why so many people weren't aware that he was here. Mm. Um, so uh, he indicates that there are still several spies operating in the area and he's been trying to link up with them. Um, to get the information that they have. All he knows is basically that, um, well, as he's explaining it, it's clear that what he's talking about is that there was something going on at the obelisk and that the, the cultists were trying to do something with the obelisk. Um, and it's clear that that's sort of what he's talking about, but he seems a little bit fuzzy on the details. So wait, the queen sent you out here, you said, Bromir? Uh, yes, uh, I was meant to link up with... Uh, a certain operative of hers known as uh, known as uh, Dareth the spy master I was unable to locate him before uh, well we were attacked I was coming to this island in the hope that he would be here but doesn't seem as though anything has been on this island for some time aha uh -huh. okay do you know anything else about uh, Dareth like any, I mean, like, well, as, a, hmm? as a spy master, he's not well known. <laughs> I simply know that the the way to locate him is uh, I was told to search for the raven. You know how spies can be occasionally they are unclear in their exact instructions. Just search for the raven. I've yet to come across anything that would be indicated as a raven. Well, we went to bird. Did you say this is your crew member, Macius? I, I mean, first me. He's a deckhand. A deckhand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in charge of your bucket. I see. Yes. So, hang on. The first queen bucket, sent you mate. Out, Excellent. Queen sent you out for this shit. Didn't we fucking run into the Royal Navy dudes sent out by the Queen who are looking for Bromir? Uh, who, who was this? Fucking, what was the guy, the asshole's name? Macius, you remember what his name was? Asshole no. at the castle? No. Uh, Man, do I remember what his name was? Lord Mortimer. Yeah, Lord Mortimer, I say, because no one else said it out loud, only my, my health. Mortimer, <laughs> yeah. God? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Lord Mortimer. Just echoes throughout the land. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mortimer. So yeah, why would someone from the Royal Navy be looking for you if you're working for the Queen <clears throat> also? I'm... Did you do something? Or... Or did you not do something? Yeah. Hey, you don't I don't understand. Something. I'm here directly on orders from the Queen. There, uh... Should be no need to send Mortimer. Is no reason he should even be here. Oh, we found a whole fucking garrison of them over at uh, Half Water, and yeah. uh, they uh, hell, man, they're, they're the guys. They're the guys who apprehended some of my friends here. For we bust them out, and then turned out they just wanted to talk, and uh, they set us up on uh, hunting you down after uh, the other crazy lady came after us. That's a whole different story. You don't even know about yet. 
Yeah, the the, I see. the island of oh, coal, then, formerly known of as that, Half Water. The town just magically burst into flames. Mm -hmm. uh, so we don't even know if they're, the, any of those uh, Navy guys are even alive anymore because Half Water was burned to a crisp as we left. I see. Yes. So you you I, if if more was a problem, he might be gone at this point. Who knows? Well, if Mortimer is here, then I uh, I need to speak with him urgently need to understand why he has been sent here because it's possible he's brought additional orders from the queen. Didn't I mean, sound we, like we he was could... too happy with you. I mean, I'm just saying he was making it sound like you're like an outlaw, you know, last I recall. Because uh, the second we mentioned that uh, Macius was, uh, or, or Macius mentioned that he was uh, your son, he got real interested real fast. And uh, started questioning Macius all up and down, thinking uh, he would know something. And uh, he, I got the vibe that uh, he wasn't really ha gonna be happy to see you. That's just me, though. I see. Uh, but if you want to see him, I mean, we can head back to the half water, see what's left. I'm sure you can search through the ashes for him. Macius, son, I uh, I leave this to your judgment. Uh, um, really? <laughs> um, I'm I am not myself at the moment, son. I need you to. Man, right, the fuck get, up for once. Let's Jesus. get you on the boat. Let's get him. <laughs> Guys, Christ. can you help him up into the dinghy? <clears throat> Guys. All right, I walk. Right I, I, I walk over and I <laughs> wait. What? Please, please, please. All right, yeah. So I walk over and I, uh, I help up, uh, Bromir Senior, Bromir Daddy, and you're uh, helping him up into the into the ship. Yeah, throw him into the dinghy. Nice. Yeah, some legs grab him. Well. I mean, I'm right here. One half fork's as good as another. They all look the same anyway. <laughs> Racist. Racist, damn. <laughs> I don't see anybody's names in here on roll 20. They're usually all listed down here. Uh, oh. yeah, F5 roll on the page. Oh. Remember how sometimes you guys have the laggy page and whatnot, so it's probably better off to reef. You guys, look at this. If I do, uh, I see the names. Does everybody see that? Yep. I do see that. Hope that rolls for anything important. No, 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 no. I was just checking to make okay, sure that I you guys see, see dice rolls. Amount of new ability points we all get. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, around the amount of ability points you all get taken away. Ouch. Oh. Fuck, okay. All right, to, to half water we go. All right, so you're we'll shipping then to half water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eggs. Uh, anything happened while we were gone? Uh, no, boss. Uh, we just been uh, yeah, floating, floating, floating around in the in the, in the water, boss. <laughs> See any other ships on the horizon? Uh, I was supposed to be looking at the horizon. <laughs> you know what? The ship's safe. That's good enough for now. Maybe uh, next time we'll around, but don't been... worry about it. I've just been watching this bird boss make sure that uh, his bird's okay. There's a dead bird laying on the ground next to him. Hmm. <laughs> what kind of bird is it? It's a seagull. <laughs> Aw. So close Bra to solving this mystery. Bird? Leg, leg found some uh, dinner for you. What is it? Hey boss, uh, it's uh, some kind of some kind it's of delicacy. Water they call it the chicken of the sea. Bird or Handed something. over. <laughs> Legs picks up the dead seagull and hands it to Brayborn. The Brayborn just grabs it and stuffs it, stuffs it in his bag. <laughs> All right, you now have a dead seagull in your inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right <laughs> after the nipple rings. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Lore, have you seen my inventory? Just take a look if if you want to. Peer into it for a second. Oh, oh God, she's the uh, peer into the, yeah, peer into the mind this. of he's, bravery. He's got so much fucking bullshit in there. Hold on, I'll, I'll screen cap it and put it in the, <clears throat> the Discord message. Please do. Oh, please do. One quarter staff, one component pouch, one. No, let's just, let's just wait for the screenshot. It'll be a easier that way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, quarter one staff. one quarter staff, one component pouch, one dungeoneer's pack, two daggers, one troll doll, one fish, one loot, one unholy oil, one nipple rings, probably be two nipple ring, whatever, and one dead seagull. 
It's a pear. Okay. Yeah. Is it a pear? And I, I'm actually curious now. It is a total of two nipple rings. You can present that in there however you want. All right. All right. So you're sailing your way back towards half water. Um, as you get close, you can see that um, half water, the town <laughs> is, uh, it's no longer like completely and totally on fire, but it's obviously had some serious damage. Um, most of the town appears to still be smoldering in some capacity. Um, the, hang on, let me add a thing to the map real quick. Um, the, beep, 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 beep. Up there, whoops. Ah! <clears throat> Up there is more or less where the uh, um, the garrison was. Um, and that seems to be, uh, for the most part, um, I'm doing this backwards. There we go. Uh, that seems to be, for the most part, still intact, but you can see that there's uh, several people sort of moving around and a lot of... Uh, um, equipment and refugees are sort of like just as you're as you're sailing past, you can see a lot of uh, equipment and refugees are sitting out around out front of it. Uh, so uh, maybe we should just try and uh, you know dismount here and head over there instead of going back down all the way to the town. Okay. Is there like a is there like a dock over there? Is all we can hit or no? Yeah, there's a well. There's there's not a, a dock directly. But a beach? you could, yeah, there's a beach. So you could leave the ship yeah, out okay. at sea so a little bit and take, take a dinghy in. Weren't we uh, in Chwabo before all this stuff happened? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I feel like Romir Daddy is kind of a get out of jail free card. Daddy? Well, we can surely hope so. <clears throat> we know him for like five minutes. You're already calling him Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, legs, keep an eye on the boat, make sure no one gets on, no stowaways, uh... Do you want me to watch the horizon this time, boy? So, uh, should well, I just uh, look at the boat? A little bit here and there, uh, can, can you do more than one thing? Uh... Just watch the boat, <laughs> the horizon. Okay, okay, I'll watch, I'll watch, I'll watch the boat, boys. Fucking Air 32. Fucking <laughs> 37? Uh, uh, I can't count it. that high, it's, boys. It's okay. Yeah, I know you're gonna need multiple hands for that. Don't worry about it. All right, let's go. Guess we lower the boat into the water and disembark. Okay. And in the dinghy. So, yeah. So you come up to. Let's see. We need to set up the uh, map for this real quick. Uh, so you come up to Half Water Fortress. Ooh. And uh, upon arrival, uh, you can see there's actually several um, villagers uh, just sort of. Uh, one second. Like a whole bunch of, of people. Are, wow, that is weird looking. Uh, sort of around milling about in the in the main area because they are. Uh, like clearly refugees of some kind. They're carrying like baskets and stuff. Um, yeah. <clears throat> those are those are the wrong. Those are the wrong icons. Yeah, 
are those waitresses or something or yeah i, I found the wrong hang on i'm gonna delete those guys and start over <laughs> they're dead oh uh... <laughs> There we go. Okay. So there's like a handful of just various people milling about in the main courtyard area. Um, and uh, you can hear a whole bunch of like talking and shouting coming from inside the barracks. I'm going to keep throwing the uh, characters around here for a second, but feel free to do whatever. Should we... Uh... I don't know if we just walk in or should we like maybe try to take a peek and hear what they're what they're chatting about first before we walk in on something. Like if they're like, you know, let's kill Bromir and all his friends, then maybe we should not go in. Did we leave Bromir on the ship? He came with us. Yeah, let me There's make a... Well. Let me It'd make be a, a bit silly for... to leave, uh, as Mike put it, our get out of jail free card on the ship. Unless they actually want to kill him. Then well, fucked. Then we'll just open a portal and jump through time and say fuck all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just like not mention the time travel stuff too. Anybody yeah, ever, over. maybe? <laughs> I just need to shut the fuck up because I meant like jokingly mentioned fucking time portals and then that happens. I jokingly mentioned railroading and a town burning down and then that happens. So. Then you're gonna be like, oh, midichlorians and shit, and next thing you know, <laughs> narrative. That's what I need to do. I mean, you say that like I listen to anything you say. He, he's reaching mm -hmm. subconscious. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so uh we're gonna take it we're gonna take a peek first before we walk in, right guys? I thought Laura was still setting up. But yes, I, I imagine. Just go ahead, yeah, go ahead and do whatever. I'll just throw things around as it I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sorry. do do do. So you're trying to sneak oh, up to oh, the oh. peek through the window that we looked at that was burning when the whole place was burning. It's, it's my my face is stuck to my mouse. Oh, there we go. Weird. That was weird. All right, uh, so I'm I'm kind of peeking through the window and just kind of taking a listen. So give me a what is it stealth roll? Damn, really? Okay. Yeah, forgot about that. This is gonna suck or be relatively mediocre. All right, so uh, you sort of move up next to the window. Um, you're you, you're making a fair amount of noise, but you do realize that you're making a fair amount of noise, so you sort of stay back from the window a little bit. Um, you can still kind of peek through it, but you're not getting a real clear idea of what they're saying. But you can definitely see them in there talking about stuff. Um, and it seems to be relatively heated. Um, Mortimer is standing there, like looking around to the different guys and, and just barking orders sort of constantly. Hey, Born, go tap on the window. Okay. It's that <laughs> hey, yo! God damn it. Uh, hey, yo! I also didn't think he'd actually do it. <laughs> Anybody home? All right, uh, Adobo, you see uh, God damn it. Mortimer like look to one of the guys in the center and just sort of nod in the direction of the door. Uh, the guy turns around and heads over to the door and opens it. Uh, can I help you? Yes, you can. <laughs> um, we're here to see. Um, hey, what was that guy's name again? Mortimer. Okay, you can close me. There's a big man in charge. Got a, he's got a blue cape, and his name is Mortimer. We need to talk to him. Mortimer walks up behind the guy and goes, I thought I told you not to return here. Well, good job. I thought I told you we would find what we needed because we have someone you're looking for. 
I see. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on. Was I supposed to tell him about Boromir? Give us a moment, yeah. if you could, please, Captain. And so the other guy wanders off. Mortimer walks out and sees everyone standing there and goes, Ah, so I see you have, in fact, located the rogue captain, as it were. Bromir? I'm trying to remember. Were these guys? They're 50-50. It could go either way. <laughs> yeah. We probably shouldn't have brought them up here. What's the what's I'm just saying your dad said to fucking go see him. So, I mean, well, you know, it's too late now. We might as well just shove him up. There's there. uh, yeah, there, there's yeah. <laughs> Whoa, there Jeez, wow. <laughs> there he is. We got him on a stick. <laughs> well, uh, you were looking for my father at one point. Yes, yeah. indeed. Hypothetically, maybe. Well, uh, Dad, uh, these guys wanted to talk to you. Maybe they could square this thing away with the Queen. Obviously, Wait a minute. Is, there, is there a reward? Is there a reward for finding this man? Uh, there might be. But that's what we should ask him. Maybe, we can maybe discuss we that afterwards. I need to speak Ooh. with Bromir immediately. He said, discuss that means there's a reward. <laughs> mm, yes, sure. Yes, we'll go with that. Uh, Bromir, if you wouldn't mind uh, following me to a place more private, we can discuss certain items that have come up from the Queen. And so uh, he motions towards the door. Um, Bromir heads inside. Um, and they both go basically out of out of this, out of sight from where you can't where you can see them. But out of your shot? Yeah, they they've gone deep inside somewhere. Well, I guess we'll just fuck ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna go I use figured your, your well. you reunited with your father, you wouldn't let anybody take him away. I mean, I don't know. He oh, kind of just let, the, he kinda just let that here. happen. I, I mean, there's nothing really we can do now. Really? He'll be fine. Can't he, you just he's like a great swordsman? He's injured. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, he's shaking up from going uh, from going on. Trump, uh, you know, time travel. Uh, no, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. He's uh, been on a journey, a long I'm journey. I'm, su I'm surprised they didn't even mention that half the city's burned down. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you there's there's, there's like people running around you constantly. Like it's clear that they're kind of constantly I think, in uh, he would have been a little angry us kind of leaving right when the the whole place burnt up but i That's guess not true yeah well didn't even mention the woman that probably caused all that that we tried to bring to him yeah we should just probably just focus on the bravery issue and maybe not going for him you know what i'm saying it, hey can can uh uh can braver and like turn into one of these guards and then just kind of walk in there just kind of oh, he totally could and just probably shouldn't though that means I do it with do it. I mean, maybe at a minimum, just to just to make sure that, you know, they're not like chopping them up into pieces or something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use that disguise self. Okay. And, and I'm going to disguise myself as. Uh, what was that guy's rank? Uh, Captain. So a lieutenant. Dang. Okay. So you imagine what a lieutenant would look like. <laughs> oh, God. And disguise yourself as that. It's just... Braveheart turns into literally just the fucking... The lieutenant emblem. No actual costume <laughs> person. Just a floating emblem. Just a, just a walking set of chevrons. <laughs> you imagine what a lieutenant would look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, oh wait, how do I do it? How do I do it? They look like you'll blend in just fine. Okay, um, so who are we gonna, who, who wants to be the prisoner? You don't 
not we're not doing the prisoner guard mock up. Just go. What do you mean? That's saying. what you always do. You always this have a prisoner. Not what we're doing. You know what? I'm not I'm not protecting this plan. Oh god, are we doing are we doing You're better off going in solo and saying No, because then so they'll be like, around. Hey you, what are you doing? And then if if, Say, if, if I get if you're in there saying, Hey, you're looking for Mortimer because the villagers need to speak with him. They have dire needs. Right? They need resources. Okay. The whole place burned down. There you go. That way you can fucking blame them and we don't have to get involved. I'm not going in there. No, I didn't. Well, here we go. I bet they won't even tell me anything. Open your- you don't, you don't need to not lock on my door. You're a goddamn guard. You would just open it and go in. Door oh. opens. Uh... Yes? I need to come in. Uh, move out of your way. Why would you knock? And he just walks off. Excuse me. Come back over I, here. I sure. told you. Come back over here. <clears throat> Braven's screaming at the man. Make it Lieutenant. Make it did, I, did I hear the whip? Sure. <laughs> so what? <laughs> <laughs> you got something to say to me? He's going to get cut up by those four guys in that hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> Sweet mother. Oh no! I, I, I don't. Do it. I don't recognize you. Hmm. And he sort of like, uh, like reaches out to to like touch your arm, but his hand like passes through where your arm would be. Oh god! What are you doing? Just wait Personal for this. space, man. Didn't Just they teach wait. you that at the academy? Guards, guards, we have an intruder. Oh, oh the other guards come over. God. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this is a bit awkward. Um, it's a very nice day outside, isn't it? Can Braben try fucking and jump out the window? Sand. Fucking sand. <laughs> can you, you jump can out try the it. window. You can try and jump out the window. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Would it improve my chances if I did something before I jumped out the window? Uh, it depends on what that something is. <laughs> I know what he's gonna do. Where is it? It's, uh, this right here. <laughs> like, it's, bas it's basically like my, my flashbang. Oh, yeah, pocket yeah. Sand. Pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly, I thought he was gonna throw the seagull at him. I really thought he was gonna throw the seagull at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a bird! Just if I could throw it across the room. <laughs> All right, so uh, do I need a roll to do that, or? Yeah, it is a 15-foot cone, uh, so you won't be able to hit all of them, but, like, you can hit three of them, the three on the left. I'll do that. I'm just okay. saying, Rayborn needs to get some proficiency with his uh, so, uh... pocket sand, so he can, like, double fist, you know, one hand of pocket sand each, you know? Two directions, <laughs> double cone. Roll uh, 60 10, then. All right, so you're completely able to dazzle all of the, uh, uh, yeah, all of the all of those three uh, guards on the left side. They're all blinded uh, for the time being. Uh, the one on the right is not. However, he's caught a bit by surprise by the fact that you suddenly cast a spell. Um, so he's just kind of taken aback. He like takes a half step back, basically. Um, All right, so you now. can you can try and jump out the window if you want at this point. All right, what would that be? Uh, athletics. Ooh, okay. So you you fucking dive through the window, uh, and you go crashing through it. Glass shatters all over the place. Sweet mother, I can't move my my pog outside the building. Uh, <laughs> you you got stuck. There. <laughs> Hang I can't on. get out of here. There. <laughs> you got stuck in the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you managed to bust through the window. You hear a, a bunch of uh, alarmed shouting inside and the guard that um, you were in. Uh, the one that wasn't dazzled uh, runs out in front. And what do you guys want to do now? Uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to jump in front and be like, 
Are you looking for that? Are you looking for that guy that uh, uh, the guy wearing the the, the the uniform? Right? Yeah. He went that way. I'm gonna point in the opposite direction of where he's gone. Uh, roll a. God Perception. damn! I got roll for this. It's not bluff anymore. What is it? Um, Deception. <clears throat> Deception. Yeah. Fuck. Oof. All right. Um. So he's gonna counter roll sense. It's not called sense motive anymore either. God damn it! I can never remember insight. Oops. Okay, yeah, so he looks at you and goes, Wait, weren't you the one that came here with... And then as he steps up in front of you, he spots Brayborn out of the corner of his eye. Aha! There you are! Runs off after Brayborn. Wait, wait, he ran past me? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have another chance to react? <laughs> I mean, you can try and grab him as he runs past. Yes. Not. Yes. He really, he really. Oh god. Yes. I'm gonna grab him. No, oh, this is going so horribly. It's fine. All right. It's okay, totally as fine. He, as he goes <laughs> to run past you, you can try and grab him. It's gonna be a strength roll. Oh. oh. Everybody, just calm down. I want to start killing guards while they have my father back there. Just saying. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? So you go to grab him, uh, but apparently this guy's a fucking ninja <laughs> and just uh, like does a little spin move and gets away uh, and chases after Brayborn. When does my cooldown for blinding light come back again? Uh, I don't think it. I think you can just cast it again at this point. You're gonna cast it again at that guy. What did I roll last time? A. a it's sixty ten. All right, so you blind the fuck out of him. Brayborn uh, runs into the into the woods a bit, so we can try and find some cover to to get the disguise off him. All right, so, we'll just, except he, he can't we'll put you over there. there for now. Yeah, no, we'll pretend not. you ran off into the woods, but we'll just put you over there for now. Uh, so the guy remains blinded for. Uh, duration one round. OK, yeah, so he's, he's blinded for like six seconds. So you have like six seconds to do something in response to the blind everybody else. Uh, we but, should. So you you can do a quick thing, basically, if you want to do a thing. Can we just knock him out? Uh, and actually, try. can somebody else knock him out, please? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling too up to. I'm not really <laughs> feeling too confident <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm not touching these guards. All right, we we don't need to knock him out. It, it, he'll be all right. He made it to the woods. I don't really have any part of this. I <clears throat> hands in the air, watch. Nope. Mm -mm. All right, the dude is no longer blinded, and he's gonna. He looks around, sees that the guy is gone, and goes, "You there? Where did he go?" Uh, I point in the same direction I originally pointed. <laughs> <laughs> can a you new roll, please? Can, can you roll? Can you roll? <laughs> can you roll deception again? This time with disadvantage. Oh, how do I do uh, that here? Uh, at the top your... of your thing, click where it yeah. says disadvantage. Oh, disadvantage. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the guy looks at you, clearly doesn't believe you, looks around. Well, if you won't tell me where he's gone, then I suppose I'll just have to detain you. And he uh, reaches up to put some shackles on. Like, he pulls some shackles out of his pouch and reaches up to put them on you. Oh, gee. Sir, that's not necessary. We're, we're good people here. My father's in there talking to the lieutenant guy. Captain. Um, what is he? Captain? Captain. Mortimer. Captain. Oh, Lord. 
Lord. We're here on official business. We're here. Yes, we're here on business. We had nothing to do with whatever's going on in there. Or whatever hear, was going on over there <laughs> out the window and everything. If you're here yeah. on official business, then why are you defending a obvious charlatan? That's a very good question. He's a good charlatan. Though. Not a very good charlatan. We immediately saw through his disguise. Uh, he's practicing. We're going away from you. See, he's just practicing. <laughs> <laughs> he's not very smart. He's, he's mentally. And mentally he's really bad. hungry. Do you have any snacks for him? Maybe I'll calm him down. He likes to play games. Is cool. what? Sorry. Snacks? What no? Snacks? Brayborn needs some snacks. snacks. He, he, when he gets low blood sugar, he <laughs> likes to play games. <laughs> blood sugar. We'll get him under control. Okay. All right. Fine. But if you guys have like any cheese or crackers or anything like that, maybe some... Or some uh, insulin, you know, some, you know, whatever. Some salami, <laughs> you know? Uh, that'd be great. <sighs> He's clearly just fed up with you and goes back inside. Tired of talking to you. I can't believe that. Where you guys sold out Brayborn so quick. He saw his disguise on. He had no idea you guys were involved. Uh, they did. I, I didn't was do just that. Sitting here the whole time. And <laughs> this fucking nonsense. All right. Bad in the woods. <laughs> Brayborn in the woods. Your uh, your disguise can fall off basically whenever you want it to. All right, his disguise falls off. I figured off, he and... would have jumped out the window and immediately fucking removed it, but, I mean, you know. <laughs> Jump out the window. Oh, hello. Just, sorry, all this broken glass that appears to have <laughs> arrived. It went that <laughs> away. It wasn't even perfect. <laughs> it went that away. Like, come on, man. Like, it was so perfect. It was so perfect. All right, Brayborn takes off the disguise. Does he have a chance to look in the window, kind of see if the coast is clear? Yeah, you can look in the window. It seems like they're they're grumbling about something, but otherwise they're they've gone back to whatever it was they were doing before. God, I'm having such a hard time moving my character for some reason. Yeah, it keeps like getting you stuck halfway through things. That's weird. Yo, hey guys. Well, <laughs> welcome back. One deck could have gone better. Should I try it again? No. No. Please no. Yo, okay. I really think they can only handle being really fucked with a little just so much, you know? <laughs> we'll definitely say you won this round. Now, which one of you wants to help get the guach out of my back? <laughs> <laughs> me to you? Yeah, not me. Nope, I'm good. I think I'm going to go in here. I mean, to be honest, I don't know why we didn't just walk in there in the first place. They, Nothing's they, they walked here. Yeah, they didn't tell us to walk out, to wait outside. We're not heathens. I'm going to the well. <laughs> Brayborn goes to the well and just plants himself in it. <laughs> just swimming in it. Yeah, it's like a like a little hot tub. <laughs> it's a very deep hot tub. He can float. All right, um, Macias, as you start wandering around, you feel like you can hear your father's voice coming from. Uh, the uh, building, the building down where he is, basically. Yes. All right. Well, I totally listen in quietly. All right. So you can hear uh, Mortimer and Bromir are uh, arguing with each other about what the queen meant when she said that. It hasn't been clear what that is at this point in time, um, but they're having some sort of argument about um, what the actual instructions were from the queen. <clears throat> Uh, Bromir is more or less arguing that um, basically you get the impression that Mortimer is of the opinion that Bromir has gone rogue uh, and is not following the Queen's orders, whereas um, Bromir is insisting that he is following the Queen's orders because what he's been doing is what she ordered him to do. All right, now I want to hear you argue with yourself being two different characters. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. You, you, uh, you say that like that isn't just what I do every time I'm not in front of a microphone. <laughs> yeah, but we're streaming now, so go. 
All right. All right, fine, Jesus. <clears throat> you should have checked in sooner, Bromir. You know as well as I do that this is not the appropriate way to deal with such a situation. Well, yes, but it was important that I maintain an element of surprise. <coughs> this is actually really hard on my throat. <laughs> I, I needed to act with as much secrecy as possible, I assure you. Yes, Bromia. However, you... I, one of them has turned into... He's uh, getting older and older by the second. Yes, Bromia. That's <laughs> oh, very <poop> intelligent. <laughs> Why don't you stay a while and listen? No. Um, I'm trying to remember the voice that I was doing for Mortimer before. It was very princey, very, very fancy. Mm, like a... Yes, yes, you're correct. It was Lord Mortimer. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, Bromia, you know as well as I do that when the Queen insists that one interact with the Spy Masters, what the Queen really means is to go to an area, look around a little bit, see nothing because there's nothing to see, and then leave. Why are you still here? Mortimer, you know as well as I, there are foul magics in this area. I must find Dareth, and I must speak with him immediately to learn what he has what he has learned, and return that information to the queen. Ah, yes, your um, shall we say, mission that you uh, insist is your continued uh, continued task in this area. I assure you, now that I am here. Uh, you may abandon this pointless quest immediately and return back to the home country. I expect you to be gone from this series of islands by morning. Mortimer, you are... You always were an idiot, Mortimer. And then uh, Bromir just starts to, like, walk off. And Mortimer just follows after him, but Bromir just storms out the out the back door. Mortimer walks over to the back door and goes, You must leave. It is on orders from the queen herself. I speak in her name. And Mortimer is just walking off down the down the pathway towards the beach. Or, uh, sorry, Bromir is just walking off down the pathway towards the, towards the beach. Seems to have more or less forgotten that he came here with four people. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, can I run and catch him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad? Yeah. Yes, 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 son. What? Yeah, yeah what are we going to do? What? What are we going to do about what? I've been ordered back to the home country. I must leave immediately. You don't have to go, though. There's something more going on here. I agree, but Mortimer is correct. He does speak on behalf of the Queen. As much as I don't like it, I must follow her orders. Your dad's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're, a, you're a famous pirate, father. No way he gets it from the Fed. Don't take orders from the queen. <laughs> how how did you come <clears throat> to learn that information? I am I am a fine unsubstanding captain of the the Royal Navy. I'm not a pirate. Where have you been hearing such things? Oh no. Damn. He's been shouting it everywhere he goes. My father's a famous pirate captain! Thankfully we were out of earshot I was making back up here. Your lore, father. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you My say? My fourth walls, no! <laughs> I said I thought I was making up your lore, father. <laughs> Well, how are you going to get there? Did you... Is there... Was it actually... I thought it, it was that he was a captain. It, the, the first thing he says, like, when in the opening campaign is, my father's a famous uh, captain, but eventually he starts adding pirate in. Yeah, oh, okay. He omitted the first part just because he was trying to get to know us first. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. All right, then fine. I mean, ignore he, ignore he that last bit then. Maybe, no, he, maybe he embellished it. We don't know. It's up in the air. Well, it ties into him going to see the queen. We can't change mm -hmm. that. He's Son, are you familiar with a privateer? It's a very uh, useful deus ex machina to solve this particular situation. 
<laughs> the queen hired you because exactly oh, yeah yeah because you know the seas better than anyone else it's it's true i am pretty good at this you're a famous pirate captain i am yes you you don't need to announce that everywhere by the way <laughs> well, it got these people to follow me and take my orders this is why the nanny left, because you kept shouting at her <laughs> how you were a famous pirate captain. I just, I need a sound from like, some like, kid fucking screaming at me. I'm a famous pirate captain! <laughs> Marching back and forth in his crib. What do you, what do you want me to do, father? I'm trying to make you proud out here. I'm a captain now, too. He sort of leans back a bit, sort of sizing you up. All right, then, Macius. Very well. If you truly wish to walk in my shoes, then uh, perhaps, perhaps you can be of use to me at this point. Yes. Anything, anything father. Very well. Assemble your crew and meet me back at your vessel. I have some additional errands to run. Yes. Yes, we'll be there. Very well. I Any... love you. What was that, Macius? I love you. I have no... I, I don't know how to deal with that. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> he walks off. Yeah. Don't, don't get stabbed. <laughs> and then he walks off. <laughs> uh... music in the background yeah <laughs> so it's random somewhat sad music oh, it's perfect to the to the ship we should go i, I think guys let's see it's just more. you two down there oh. by the way <clears throat> yeah i was just uh just uh behind the bush no big yeah i've just been Stop. sitting here watching brayborn wade around in the wet wall like do a spinning <laughs> little yeah, all the uh the nearby like refugees are now just like standing around and groaning and they're upset that this dragonborn is just fucking up the water completely yeah it's yeah. pretty good um can i help you guys oh, geez, we should probably... get out of the well we should probably get brayborn out of here and uh head to the ship did you figure out what we need to figure out? My father's gonna meet us there. Oh, got a okay. Job I was wondering us. where he's. That was my next question: is where he's at. But if he's gonna meet us there, then I guess. Uh, that's where he's at. I guess that's a wrap then. Rayborn. Do you? We bouncing. Let's go. Where to go? I want to hear the sound when he hops off. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of slides off of it. Oh wait a minute! Hold on! I think something fell out of my pocket. Goes back to the row and pulls out the the dead seagull, just been floating there. <laughs> His bag's in there too. He's got like a dead, like two or three day old fish at that point as well. Because I saw it in his inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget, yeah. You don't know when you when you're gonna need a dead seagull. <laughs> the little girl in the red dress takes a drink of the water, immediately oh. falls over dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We can probably weave immediately. What's happening? A guard walks over to look at her dead, lifeless body. To the ship. To the ship. To the ship. <laughs> Come on. Did you go? Did you go on? All right. Uh, so you head back to. This is the part where, if we have a soundboard, someone would play the uh, Toy Story soundboard for someone's poison the water hole. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might be able to find that, but I kind of can't be asked. No, don't, don't bother. All right, so you head back to the ship. Um, once you arrive at the ship, uh, Bromir is not yet there. We arrived at the dinghy or the ship. I'm sure certainly wouldn't head off uh, the dinghy without him. What he said was go to the ship. Hmm. So. How far is the ship from the shore? Close enough uh, that he can flag us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can see okay. the shore pretty clearly. <clears throat> and you have like a spyglass and stuff. 
Well, you don't want to go because we have to take the dinghy out? No, I was saying we you know, should have uh, waited on the shore for him. But if he's had to wait the ship for him, then I'm just making sure that we can see him should he sh pop up on the shore to wave us down so we can go get the dinghy to get him. Otherwise, if we're too far out, then we can't fucking know when he's going to show up. There's a lot of logistics. Shore for hours. There's a lot of logistics. We'll see him. We'll see him. He'll get his own dinghy. All right, so you just uh, you're just waiting, oh, basically. God, thank God, the fucking silence is killing me right now. It's like, wait, is he actually gonna show up? Oh my God, did he abandon? <laughs> fucking, are we gonna turn coddle? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then the rest of the uh, the rest of the campaign is just gonna be me sitting here. So. Um... Yeah, Moon's in there. Oh, my father left me. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. I know he's, he's coming. He found him and he left me again. He went out for cigarettes again. No. <laughs> and so He'll they sat on the ship until they starved to death. The end. <laughs> Legs ate them all. No. Oh. They got hungry, boys. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're just waiting, basically. This is mm -hmm. kind of a do you want to do anything else before he eventually shows up sort of thing. Uh, uh, I you guys. No, I'm good. Nope. Okay. Uh, so you, you wait around uh, for another like three or four hours um, before you see another dinghy sort of uh, moving out from kind of around the cape. Um, so uh, down like this will work down that direction. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Um, so coming out around down there around that corner you see a uh, he says he forgot where he parked the boat <laughs> you see a, a dinghy come around the corner you see uh bromir standing sort of at the at the front of it uh and someone else rowing from the back captaining the dinghy he's what captaining it what a <laughs> legend <laughs> you see that guy's this is like the like George Washington, like my foot up on the yeah. <laughs> Everyone else is like, Jesus fucking Christ, this guy's just heavy. fucking sit down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um so he, he moves up uh the guy rowing the boat brings it right up next to uh next to the ship and he sort of calls up to you. Uh Hello, son. Bring me up. Yep, come on, father. So you like toss a rope ladder down to him or something. Um, yeah. And he like he climbs up the side. Uh, and then whoever was in the dinghy, dinghy just sort of rows off again, heading off back around the cape. All right, father, <sighs> get him on. Yeah. You want a blanket? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Why would I? What? No, I'm fine. Right, all right, we've been waiting. What, what do you got? Well, Good. I couldn't help but notice while we were talking with Mortimer and while I was speaking with you afterwards, there was a raven circling over the forest to the east. I went to investigate, and I'll, I did not find Dareth himself. I did find a note that he had left behind. So he pulls out a little, like, scroll uh, and hands it over to you. Over to Macius. Okay, I open it and look at it. Uh, it's just uh, um, it doesn't have any actual words in it, but it does have three symbols on it. One being the symbol of a raven, uh, one being the symbol of an octopus or squid or something like that, um, and one being the symbol of like an arcane rune. What the hell is this? Not entirely sure. These spy masters tend to speak in, well, they tend to not speak. They just leave these bizarre notes everywhere. I believe the mark of the raven to be an identifier. This is Dareth mentioning basically that it was him that wrote the note. The octopus I understand to be the creature that attacked us out in the sea uh, at the island to the south. And as for the arcane rune, well, 
was hoping that one of your spellcaster types might be able to identify that. Do you have anyone among you with a magical ability? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Davis? Huh? What? You're, you're always identifying things. What do you need me to do? He is always identifying things. <laughs> no, I was gazing off burning, uh, gazing off at the, the town that's kind of burned uh, over there. He was just kind of... Don't worry. Thinking don't worry. of all the magic items that probably got burnt to a crisp over there. Shame. Well, we got a scroll here that we got to identify. Sure. Here, look at it. Take a look. Uh-huh. I guess I, I grab it from him. Uh, unroll it. See what's going on. Cast identify. Okay. Uh, um, you don't actually need to cast identify to look at it. It would be... Um, Arcana? Uh, yeah, an Arcana roll. I, I, I'm real. I was only about half listening. I'm running low on the juice. <laughs> running very low on You're the juice. You're running really good. <laughs> <laughs> This ain't making any sense. Give me a second. I need, I need some grog. I'm gonna go get some grog. I have Brayborn try. I'm gonna get some grog. Wake myself up. Can I give the scroll back Wait. to Mace as I go down below to find some grog to wake myself up? What? what, what I'll be you... back. Have Brayborn try you until then, man. I can do I it. I need to wake up, man. Do it, do it, Torchby. Torchby, I can do it. Brayborn stands there like Superman posing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he rolls a one. <laughs> I hope he rolls a twenty, and you come back up, and Brayborn is just giving a dissertation <laughs> on whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> he's got a chalkboard out and everything. Brayborn doesn't any of what he's saying, but he's giving a dissertation. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you mean take a good joke here? Yeah, all right, here. Just don't rip Brayborn, it. Brayborn don't pulls rip out like little glasses <laughs> that look like it. at the end of them have like <laughs> Coke bottle ends on them. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so um, <clears throat> here's here's how we can do this. Uh, I'm going to tell you some stuff about this scroll, and you are a hundred percent certain. Like this is a hundred percent. You are confident that this is exactly what this means. Whether or not it's all accurate or not is up to interpretation. Uh, but you are Brayborn is confident that. This scroll, this this icon on this scroll means that it's a transmutation spell, which is meant to uh, alter the substance of the scroll into something else when activated by a certain element of some variety. Well, you see here, if you look at this little <laughs> signal on the very bottom, according to Newton's third <laughs> law of gravity, this is going to mean that there is... A, a, a transform a transmogrification spell that can be activated if a certain element in the sky appears and it goes boosh, boosh, boosh. Do you understand what I mean? I emerge from the, the ship holding the bottle and like does mid swig and I'm just kind of staring like, what the fuck? Uh, let me give me one more try at that <laughs> <laughs> real fast here. Yeah, all right. It sounds pretty right though. <laughs> I just stare. Right. I just stare at you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Do I spell grog on it at this point? I got nothing. <laughs> the scroll is now fucking destroyed. The journey is over. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now absolutely All convinced. All people died in the town for nothing. Everything that that Brayborn just said is wrong. Uh, this is actually uh, the scroll itself has a light spell built into it. You figure it's probably just so that whoever was reading it could flip on a light and read the scroll if they wanted to. <laughs> that is your professional identification. Sense, man. I guess Brayborn got it figured out. I got fucking nothing. Because <laughs> this ain't making any sense. I go back to drinking grog, I guess. <laughs> I do appreciate that the grog made this worse. <laughs> it knows. I put the bottle down. Okay, one more try. Seriously, just one more try. I got this. Don't worry. I to totally don't. I don't Fuck it. it. Hey. <laughs> Fuck. I'm done. 
How? I'm done. I throw the scroll at Brayborn and fucking walk to the other end of the ship. <laughs> Can I can I, take, can I take a closer look at it again? Yeah, I mean, look at it. How, how would we know what element Fuck to these use dice. on it? They're so stupid. Can you guys, like, visualize what's happening here? Like, this entire scenario is so fucking ridiculous. We should just hand it to Legs and see what he thinks, for fuck's sake. <laughs> God. <laughs> but we still believe Rayborn, right? We didn't have a choice in that? Uh, you, you, I mean... Brayborn believes what he was saying earlier. Whether you believe him or not is up to you. Whether whether Brayborn's actually reading it properly, we have no idea. What Brayborn yeah, yeah, told it's you more guys, like, it's 100% what he believes, though. Yeah. Brayborn, Brayborn looked at the scroll and determined that it's a transmutation uh, spell, which activates when the scroll is exposed to a specific element. And that's what he believes to be the case. Does, I don't think it makes sense. Can we find that element, Brayborn? Dude. You know what you just said to us. Well, I said that, you know, you put the little scroll next to a certain thingy, and mm -hmm. then it, it mm -hmm. you know, it, 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 you you put the, the scroll against a certain thingy, and then, you know, it's going to transmute, you know? Yeah, we need that thingy. Oh. Yeah, what's the thingy? Please tell me it's not the giant octopus. <laughs> it's an element. He said it was an element. <clears throat> oh. Would hmm. that be on the scroll? Uh, it might be. Would would he believe that the element is on the scroll? <laughs> would like, he be able to that divine the element from the scroll from what he reads? Uh, he would. He has not been able to do that. No, that would that would be part of the arcana roll. So it would, it would just be an arcana roll. It wouldn't be anything like. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh insight or anything like that to, to maybe anything that looks familiar to him out of it um no not really uh, arcana kind of covers all that <clears throat> Sp specifically Our rolls for are basically a magic item at this point we shouldn't be re-rolling either so i don't know <laughs> you're, you're technically not supposed to get multiple rolls of arcana either i just thought it was funny so we went with it <laughs> Does anyone have? Does everyone have arcana rolls that they can do? You could try. It shouldn't really work yeah. that well, though. We just we get bonuses because we are uh, spellcasters. So like, I, you saw my roll pop up as a, was it a seven? I actually rolled a five though, because I get plus two for my charisma. Yeah, but um, other people can try to roll arcana. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Oh, there you go. Saying, okay. It's, it's complete RNG. Anyone can do it. It's just that we get bonuses. <clears> that's why we are trying it. All right. Well, I'll try. See if uh, I can. Romy, this or, thing uh, out. Macius does know some magic, so I mean, you know, it makes sense. Adobo shouldn't be able to read that shit, though. Well, I'll give it a shot, anyways. If... All right. Um, so Macius looks at it, um, and after some investigation, uh, you determine that Brayborn is correct about the um, there being some sort of uh, transmutation spell attached to the thing um, that w requires a. A specific element to activate the uh, um, uh, the the rune that's on the th like basically some you, if you touch something to the rune something's going to happen. Um, as to what exactly that something is, you're still not quite sure. Um, you you figure it's probably one of the the base elements though, so uh, earth, water, fire, or air. You gotta do, you gotta say it in the right order. I don't remember the right order. Earth, wind, water, fire, heart. Okay, it's not heart. I'm There's just no gonna go out. There's Wait, no heart bending. No heart bending. Oh hey, uh, we're talking about different things then. Is it a scroll of summon Captain Planet? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Drinks that's, from the grog. That's what's gonna save us all. He's our hero. <laughs> Well, the, the thing is, the, there's the there's a couple of those things that could potentially permanently damage this so maybe we should start with the least damaging of the group and like you know rub some dirt that on it first the end of, that was just drunk at the other end of the ship just humming the captain planet theme song just bow on it what do you mean just bow on it oh okay well yeah you're right okay that sure that's probably the, the, the better first of the group sure wait hang on are you guys actually trying to like do the captain planet element i snatch it out of your hands <laughs> <laughs> jesus fucking christ <laughs> All right, you blow on it a bunch. Good job. 
All right, I give up. I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> I hand it off. <laughs> We should follow what he's saying, though. He makes a lot of sense. Do the least damaging thing, so I guess we're on a ship, though. Where are we going to get ground? Sprinkle some sand on it. I say from the other end. Earth. Oh, Dougie. Dougie for me. I have a pocket of sand. Brayborn sprinkles a little bit of sand on it. All right. you uh, As you sprinkle sand on it, you notice that... Uh, Nothing like, happens. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mid sentence. Uh, I'm as you sorry. Carry on, Mister God. They're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so as you sprinkle the sand on it, you notice that it kind of like it. It feels like the paper sort of. Uh, it's almost like a, a stiff breeze blows against it as the sand bumps into it, and not just because of the impact of the sand. Like it feels like it sort of shakes a little bit in your hand. <gasps> Yo, but what do you do? You, you, you. So put some more fucking sand on it. Everyone pulls out like a little bag of sand this time, just pours it all on top of it. All right, definitely like the sand kind of gets knocked around the room a little bit because mm -hmm. the, the paper is shaking it away, but um, that's about it. We're going to need a bigger sand. <laughs> <clears throat> Of course, we're on a fucking boat now. <laughs> yeah, it's like we need proper soil potentially, and now we gotta go all the way fucking back to the island. Well, we're not far. We just jump in a dinghy and just just row on over there real quick. Just rub the shit in the sand, and then see what it does, and then go from there, right? Down to Japan to be. I mean, I'm just saying, the sand's getting all crazy when you dump it on it. What do you think is gonna happen to the beach when you stick that thing in the sand? I'm just, I'm just saying. I, I don't know. That's why I want to try. <laughs> just give it a shot. Well, I got nothing better. Macius, to heading towards the dinghy. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Should we try the other things first, since we have them right here? You want to light it on fire? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could do water. Do we? Okay, try I gotta use the restroom. Just as you wait. Come on, just do yeah, it. No, I'll get some seawater. Oh, it's all sandy. It's gonna ruin the paper, dude. Oh. <laughs> See water? No, it's fine. Just put it on the edge. Just put it on the corner, like the. Yeah, just. I get, I'm just gonna fuck it of water. Corner. And fuck it water. Jesus Christ. Dump my hand in it and sprinkle a little water on it. <clears throat> all right. Uh, you now have a slightly wet scroll. <laughs> okay, so I think I think we all agree. Somehow, Davis fucking stumbled his way into the boat. He's in the dinghy alone. To the beach! <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> the grog bottle is basically empty at this point as well. Can yeah. you, uh... I've never seen you like this. Can you give me a, uh... Let's <clears throat> say, uh... Acrobatics roll? Uh, with disadvantage? Oh, for the love <laughs> of <that>. <laughs> 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 Are you fucking shitting this me? This is the perfect I'm drunk, I could do this roll. <laughs> this is so fucking perfect. Are you like, you, come on, you gotta split oh my that God. one down the middle. You gotta split that one down the middle. Don't do me like that, you fuck. Wow. Alright, so somehow or another with perfect Wait, hang on, precision. hang on, hang on, hang on, before you actually do it. Can I do like a front flip over the railing, land in the boat, and then go ta-da, but then fall over in the boat? Just, that was just... more or less what I was going to do, yeah. Perfect. So you, with some sort of amazing dexterity, you manage to hop up into the boat, swing around on the ropes a little bit, do your little backflip and stuff, and you stay, you go to the boat, and then you fall over the edge into the water. <laughs> I, I said yes. to the beach, but okay. You're to the beach, yeah, sorry. He doesn't know what he's saying. To the beach! <laughs> Fall over a splash. Should somebody go help him? <laughs> I'm just kind of floating in the water, drinking, what, like, just holding the bottle up, like, above me, trying to get anything out of it. I think it's empty, guys. Jesus. I'll just meet you over there, kind of just start paddling, just on my back, just towards the shore. <laughs> Alright, let's go to shore. Alright, yeah, let's do it. Alright. 
So those of you who aren't idiots, get in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you stop to pick up Davis, or do you just paddle past? Him? I'm assuming you'll bump into me, and I'll just kind of latch on. <laughs> ah, yes, please that. Up. Just hanging off the back. <laughs> All right. Still trying to get some grog out, but every time he takes a sip, it's actually salt water. <laughs> he manages to grab a hold of one of the ropes that it was was being used to attach it to the boat previously, and is just getting dragged along behind, singing about salty rum or something. Uh, and you eventually make it back to the shore. Well, eventually. It takes about five minutes to get back to the shore. All right, who's going to do the honors? Um, I uh, will. I'll, I'll be prepared. Not I, you. I not this. I grab yeah. it from his hand and I no, just no, face plant into the sand <laughs> with my hand outstretched like in the as the ro the roll of paper is kind of like made into like it just it's just it's just in a, in a it's full and rolled up like a spear and I just kind of face plant myself as well and just thunk into the sand with it outstretched wait what I grabbed it from him yeah and then I immediately fell over into the sand but that I had the roll out like in my fist and it went you know, it went down into the sand. It's it plunged into the sand with my face as well because I fell over because I'm drunk. OK, so uh, I'm just beating you to the one because I'm, I'm sure I'm going to roll acrobatics one again. So whatever. I mean, you can roll if you want. No. Wait, face planted. I, it's in the sand. It's buried. OK, fucking do it. Make it happen. But All I'm, right, I'll do it. <laughs> Not acrobatics. I want to know what happened with the scroll. God damn it! Oh, we still okay. we still need to bury your face in the sand, though. Yeah, yeah. It's already buried. I'm already under there. You did. You did successfully bury your face in the sand. Good job. Um. Okay. So uh, as soon as it like gets underneath the the sand, basically, um, it starts to rumble around it a bit, uh, and then like a pillar of sand comes up out of the out of the beach where it was like the sand is sort of rising up um, underneath the uh, um, uh, the scroll the scroll starts kind of like glowing a bit um, then the sand sort of starts to move around in a weird way uh, kind of swirling around a little bit uh, and then it's like a figure like a uh, the shape of a person uh, has come out of the sand now and it's standing there um, guys I made a next level sand castle <laughs> <laughs> the sand just sort of looks around for a second the sand sand person sort of looks around for a second and then says like it, it starts to actually speak and it sounds weird and gravelly and awful um but it says hello if you found this then you must be the one sent to locate me I have been tracking a woman called Evelyn for some time. Hey, me too. Hmm. She has come under control of a small band of cultists, but I believe her to be a servant of a demon lord by the name of Zalanoth. <coughs> My throat is awful tonight. That sounds like the guy's Albrecht hates. You must find her and end her immediately. For if she is allowed to gain the powers of Zalanoth, then I suspect this entire series of islands may be in trouble. This whole arch archipelago may burn to the ground. And then the wow. sand just sort of falls down and... Oh, we already oh. killed her, so we, we're good! We, Mission we, accomplished! Back to the ship! We don't know ship. how to kill her. We already we're killed her, we're good, right? I mean, is she dead? I thought she came back. I killed her a couple the, times. I killed one. her again. Uh, I killed her so, three times. Yeah, so um, she was the one that the guy, the, you remember the guy described to you a woman walking around shooting purple light everywhere when Half Water came under attack? And then she showed up on the ship and we fought her and killed her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well... Sort of. I mean, I, I, that's what we saw. Yeah. So we're good. Back to the ship, boys. Hey. Okay. I dust myself off and start just heading back to the dinghy. <clears throat> did you bring uh, Bromir with you, or did you leave him on the ship? 
I imagine we brought him with us. I mean, yeah, he's the one who brought us the scroll. I imagine he's there. Okay. So he uh, he speaks up and says, so you, you believe to have already ended this particular threat? Yeah, twice. Twice we killed her. No. Oh. Well. She came back. We don't know if she's really gone. Well, did you... Did she die? It looked like it. We threw her body off the off the ship into the water. I see. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that happened. Well, I killed her uh, father with my bow and arrow. I yeah, yeah, him. he did. It it, it oh. happened. Well, um, very good then. Uh, well, I also well, want to well tell too back in half water. You. Uh, it was a triathlon, it wasn't a tournament, but yeah. Triathlon. Was Wait, a, no, that was a dobo. Race. Wait. Yeah, he won the archery tournament. No, never mind, we're good. It's an archery tournament, yeah. Was that oh. the part of the triathlon? <clears throat> I don't remember anymore. Well, um, very well, son. Uh, good, good, good job. And he just sort of, like, pats you on the head. <laughs> very awkwardly. Yeah. Like, he's never shown affection to him ever. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Is smiling ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I guess um, that's that. <laughs> mission accomplished. Then. <laughs> Campaign Back over. We're done. What the fuck happens? <laughs> what the fuck? Cue the outro music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, now we get to go see the queen for crumpets. It's perfect. Yeah, I mean, okay, so uh, you you have options now. Um, there's a there's a bunch of stuff, a bunch of directions you could go in. Um, half water is still smoldering. Um, you could investigate that if you wanted. Um, there is the all the the cultists that uh, were still around over by Chundertown. Uh, you can investigate that if you want. Um, you can just leave. Job well done if you want. <laughs> it's up to you guys. I vote for Chundertown just because I like the name. Chundertown? You want to go back to Chundertown? I mean, I don't know. I don't... I don't... We didn't bird the body. Everybody knows you're supposed to double tap the body by birding it, and we didn't do that. He might still be alive, and we know we first met her at that Widow Island over there with, with all the, the, the people in the robes. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a fair point. But before half water burned down, there was a woman, uh, somebody was proclaiming there's a woman on the street yelling about all craziness. What, what if that's her too? What if she's the one burning down half water and she's still around in the area? Oh, maybe Mr. Coffee will be we there. The ship? Should... What was that? that? Who the fuck did we kill on the ship? Well, if it wasn't who, her and she's still in half water, who did we kill on the ship? Well, who did we kill at the obelisk? We fought her there, too. That's a good question. Did we try and pull on any of their faces and see if a mask came off? <laughs> <laughs> I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Young one. Okay, so um, here I will, I will, I'll step in slightly. Uh, so Bromir stands back and goes, "Well, um, we should make sure that whatever magic she was using has uh, has fully dissipated." I recommend, uh, son, if you feel that this is a worthwhile trip, um, I recommend we return to Halfwater and. Just investigate uh, the area there. See uh, if any of the magic still linger. There you go. All right, let's let's go. Sure, that's a great idea. I'm with uh, Mortimer, if he sees. Uh, we're in Thunder Town, I mean, though. We're not sees... going to Half Water. I mean, <clears throat> we're going to Half Water. Yeah, he said Half Water. Oh, we're sorry, sorry, down. sorry. Hmm. I'm just saying, man, Garrison's right there. He could be roaming around town. If he catches us in town, he's going to be like, Why didn't Bromir go back to the Queen? No, I said, I said. 
I mean, that's weird. <laughs> Suddenly you started to sound like fucking what's his face to the thing, but I can't even remember the name, so we should, I mean, we be careful. Disguise? Well, he's not gonna. I, Fuck I it! How long Let's go! How long does he have? I mean. I mean, sure, it's the same day, I guess. It's a few hours later. We'll get my father to the queen. Right, father? Yeah. Yes, of course. <clears throat> So what? What are you? What Set are you guys sail, doing? Man. Where? It's all like the twenty feet down the beach to half water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. All right. All right. Put the sails down. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you head back to half water. Um. The fires are out now. Um. It sure. Uh. It doesn't. It doesn't look as nice as this. It still has fire and stuff. Um, well, not not fire. It has like smoke and stuff coming off of the uh, um, off of the roofs and things. Um, uh, you 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 arrive. You see that there are people that have started like rebuilding and stuff. Um, they're starting to try and put some stuff back together. Um, the purple robed guy the one that had originally directed you to the prophet ages ago um, now has a huge number of people standing around him as he's shouting about death and the vengeance of the gods and stuff um, and yeah that's, that that's what from the doc Herbert, yep. Yep. yeah the Herbert guy <clears throat> can we hear in the distance what he's saying real fast uh, you can just sort of hear like and, and so, I, all of the, uh, everything that you guys have seen is, is going to come to ruin. Y'all should uh, be as careful as you possibly can and make sure to never lock your doors at night. <laughs> Leave your windows open while changing. He's, it's right, just, it's, it's cultist nonsense. <laughs> cultist. <laughs> Cultist nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Pervert, cultist. pervert cultist nonsense. Uh, the town overall seems to be fairly well recovered. Um, there's obviously like there's sections of it that were were damaged more than others, um, but people are starting to rebuild. Um, yeah. This place doesn't look too bad. It looked a lot worse when we were leaving. It looked a lot worse. There was like red wavy lines everywhere. It looked bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where to? Let's um <clears throat> I mean should we go to, like to the general area where the prophet was? Didn't the prophet leave town already? Yeah, but... yeah he, he decided to become a traveling merchant. Oh god. We're looking around for signs of magic. We need like <clears throat> does that detect magic shit work like a tuning fork or something? Can we, you just no, like no, we need, we need, we need like a bloodhound that's magical. Rayborn, get over here. What are we doing? Sniff out any magic. <laughs> <laughs> what would I roll? Arcana, go. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll call it Arcana. Ooh. No. <laughs> All right, so you start sort of looking around and uh, looking at like looking at scorch marks on the walls, um, looking at bits of uh, like wood and stuff that's been burned here and there, um, buildings that have been damaged, stuff like that. Um, and as you're sort of looking around, you sort of start to you can kind of start to sense a, a pattern of uh, how things were being burned. Um, that's sort of leading you towards uh, what seems like it would be a central location. So Brayborn's just not down on all fours right now, <laughs> sniffing around like a bloodhound, pulling apart like wreckage and stuff. And he starts to walk towards that centralized location. What did you get over here, guys? What'd you find, Brayborn? I don't know. What did I find? <laughs> One second, I'm seeing if I can find a a map for it. 
The group just kind of looks up into the sky for a second. Yeah, this will be good. One second. Oh, we sent up another thing. Dun, yeah, dun, I'm dun, up dun, a dun, dun, real quick. Oh yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. imagining us like a brave one on all fours like a giant fucking kimono dragon or some shit just like running out in front of us and we're just like following them <laughs> <laughs> or maybe we're like Jar Jar Binks and like fumbling about here and there all right here we go <clears throat> Ooh. So you eventually reach a uh, section of the town that seems to have been uh, burned pretty dramatically. Mm -hmm. um, the pretty much everything is ruined. Um, as you're as you're looking around, uh, you realize that the uh, the only building that's still somewhat standing has a halfway burned sign in front of it that says two out of ten. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this building right here. I can't read, though. What's the sign say? Five out of seven. Perfect score. Five out of seven. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this building gives me the heebie-jeebies. This is... <laughs> it's the same place... We went originally where you turned into the wench and then we went in and got information. So it stands to reason that we can do the same thing again. Minus the turning into a wench thing, because if I recall, that did not go so well. It's not really like functional at all. It's clearly like a burnt out husk. Oh, OK. So it's it's the building on the right. Right. OK, well, then let's just go in there and start digging. I'm not going in there first. I'm just staying. <laughs> All right. Um, so you, uh, you doing like uh, you're just searching around for stuff inside? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so make <clears throat> investigation rolls. Anyone who's searching, you don't have to roll with disadvantage. Oh, well, it doesn't seem to matter. Apparently, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck, man. I rolled shit. Yo. <laughs> Dude. I find another grog bottle. The journey ends <laughs> here. You find that a grog leads. bottle. No however, leads. however, upon tasting the grog that you found, uh, it's clear that this was actually something that a patron had used to uh, relieve themselves in previously. That's not grog. Hey, Brayborn, you thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, you got a, you got a drink for me? Yeah, it's something to add to your oil. You okay, here, throw it over. Cork it, thunk, toss it over. <laughs> Brayborn kind of like swigs it, like like you know, not not swigs it. He like swirls it around, like listening to it. Man, this is some chunky guag. I'll save it for <laughs> I'll save it for waiter. Macy's has yet to roll an uh, investigation. Ah. Because he knows the dice are fucking loaded tonight and he shouldn't be. <laughs> Here we are. Ooh. No. So as you're you're poking around in there, um everyone, uh, including Bromir, is having a hard time finding anything other than like charred bits of doorway and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um but Macius uh, just while you're searching around, you uh, 
tip over a, a table that had fallen over in the corner. Uh, and underneath the wreckage of that table, you find a crystal very similar to the one that uh, you've seen Davis using from time to time. And it is glowing very brightly. Wait, hang on. What was that again? Oh. You found a crystal like the one that you used to talk to Zalabrak. Wait, so I've got the dead crystal and I've got the new, the, the original crystal that's charged. And now we find a new one? Yeah. Motherfucker. Dibs. A lot of <laughs> 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 I found a guys. What you guys? find? What is it? It's a crystal. Look at it. Look at how bright it is. It's way better looking than any of Davis's. <laughs> it's bigger too. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can it do this? I just wait, open my bag and immediately just light pours out into the fucking room and the smoke everywhere. No, it can't. He just calls Alabrak. Can you can you call? Can you call fucking <laughs> time traveling yeah. demons with it? <laughs> Unlimited Skype minutes. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> um, Speaking of which, I should probably call him real fast, actually. Yeah, he maybe he can tell us what to do with it. Well, the fact that we have another like crystal from him that was identical, just not powered up from a different time, and now we found another one here. Let me let me compare That's the like, new one. Yeah. It's, First it's, off, it's, to the other two, because the other two. I, I remember you said the other one that we found on the boat was exa exactly identical, except it yeah. just wasn't powered up, right? You said? Yeah. Yeah. How's the new one look? Is it is similar or is it exactly the same as well? Uh, it's it's made of a similar material, but is not the same not, shape. Not the same, just of the same type. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to call Absolve back right now. Do, 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 hang do, on, do, hang do. on. I'll put, them, I'll put them on speaker for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Skype in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate answers. What? Hey, what? man. All right. Young, I'm, young it's one. not my fault. I can't convince the guy to use Discord. Hello, hey, Celebrate. You there? I, I told you to stop calling me on this. You're going to get me DDoSed. <laughs> I added an update for that like two years ago. Go to your options and check take that shit off. I don't know why you're using that shit already. Just swap to Discord. It'd be a lot easier. Anyways, okay. So remember I use curse. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you mean the Twitch app? We're not even gonna go there. Stop. No, I'm okay. a demon lord. I use curse. Oh uh, you get it. Dad? Uh, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> So, we, uh, uh, you saw, you know, we went back in time for a brief moment, yeah? Yeah. Nope. Oh. That was me. There. Uh, you know, we went back in time for a brief moment. We found another crystal that's exactly the same. And I mean exactly to a T. Like the one I'm calling you on. Except it's not powered up. Ah, I guess that is likely to be the same crystal. Uh-huh. Can I do anything with this one? I wouldn't recommend it. Anything you do with that one uh, between now and when it finds its way back to the obelisk will affect the other crystal. Uh-huh. We also found a new one. Uh, remember how we left half water when it was burning? And you said yes. to go find Bromir? And we, we found Bromir. And we came back. And upon some investigation, found our way uh, into a burnt down building where we found another crystal, but it's uh, similar, but not quite the same. Definitely look like the same type of uh, same type of uh, material, same type of uh, I see. crystal, uh, you know, but not the same actual like cut. Can you uh, can you hold it in your other hand? Hang so on, I let me turn on it. let me turn on screen sharing real fast. <laughs> <laughs> let, uh, let me let me text you a picture. All right, I hold it up. How about is that? Can you mm, see it? Yes, yes. This is the sort of crystal that my kind tend to use, as you are well aware. However, I suspect this one may be used by a servant of Zalanoth. Mm hmm. Well, there's no bodies around here. So maybe they burnt up or they left. What should we do with it? In fact, what hmm. should we do with the other one as well? I'm just 
recording them, I guess, at this point? The, uh, the other one, the non-powered crystal, I recommend returning to the obelisk. However, there is no particular time limitation there. You have as much time as you need. It just uh -huh. must return to the obelisk at some point. Aha. Uh -huh. And uh, this is a new one we found? Yes, I... If, if it's... If it's... If it's... From the the uh, your rival dude, Sh couldn't you like do something with that? No, maybe. Insider secrets, man. You can like learn, take it apart. Man, I'm yes. just saying. Yes, <clears throat> perhaps. <clears throat> more, perhaps on the download, I can use some more spell slots. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> perhaps you should bring it to me. How's... Can I? Uh, can I bring my friends? <laughs> <laughs> he's afraid he's got to like, like fucking like couple, charge it like again. Couple, I feel like a couple of them will get a real kick out of the place. You planning a demon sleepover? I mean, I wasn't going to say anything, but if you're inviting us, I mean, you know. Very well, very well, yes. Place the focus on the ground. I shall create a portal. And done. I, have you placed the Focus on the I ground. Said done. I said done. I said done. Did you not, Wait, I mean, did you like, you're, you're not even going to ask if the, ready of, uh, the rest of us are ready to go on this fucking I mean, journey you, to I'm like. I'm assuming you'll be. I'll ask if you're ready when you act about ready to walk through. I don't need to just ask if you're ready when I'm putting the thing on the ground, man. Do I need to fucking ask you if it's okay to wipe my ass too? Jesus. Maybe. What? I mean, you don't have to go. You can wait here. I'll be back in like five minutes, probably. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, like last time. Bro. Right. You don't know what I did, right? I died a lot. <laughs> Fuck you. You weren't there. You're sure the focus is on the ground? It feels strange. Where are we on the beach, right? No, no, we're sorry, no, it's right. Yeah, we're in the beach. Sorry, no, no, no. Sorry. no, 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 no. <laughs> I wasn't. I mean, I wasn't sure if we like moved somewhere else, like stepped away, or we're still standing in the fucking rubble. We're still standing we're in the rubble. In the uh, burnt down building right now. Gotcha. The focus, yes, people. the the same one that I used for the last portal. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it, oh, the focus, right, uh, Adobo? Huh? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. The, <laughs> the terminology, genitalia, I believe. The, the, the terminology here, is, sorry, my bad. See, I put the crystal on the ground, the extra one. See, I completely forgot about the, yeah. It's that portal focus. <sighs> I mean, can I just, can I just, I'll just, you know what, you know what, I'm not going to bother. You know, just throw on the ground, Adobo. I pull it out and I toss it to, to devs. <laughs> that shit fall through my hands, man. It's in place. He does that whole. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, that's hot potato. I ain't touching that shit. All right. Basically, as soon as it hits the ground, you just hear ah come from the crystal, and the the portal opens. <laughs> this thing opens Wait, portals. does it bounce? Does the portal minute? open like and close? Oh. Open and close as it bounces. <laughs> As soon as it stops moving, basically, the portal. There's an open portal. You guys, you guys want to see some <clears> shit? <throat> oh god, sure. Yeah. This is weird coming from you, Davis. I mean, you're really against going through the other portal. Yeah, I know where this one's going though. This guy's nice. He gave me the crystal, and uh, you know, it's it's pretty good. Nice. He doesn't... He, I mean, he brought oh, me back. Nice. He brought me back to life a few times. All right. I mean, he he's he's a pretty good, pretty decent guy so far. Yeah, just a demon from a crystal ball. He's nice. Good guy. Nice. Good guy. Nice. We go, we go back. Did he not <laughs> help us unfreeze your father who was stuck in time? Mm -hmm. really. I, we mm -hmm. had a lot to do with that more mm -hmm. than he did. It was us, father. <laughs> yeah. Guess who we got for instructions? Because we had no idea what the fuck to do. <laughs> You Guess who's the me. IT tech support? Bromir Bro is just staring at Macius and judging the hell out of him right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Bromir, if you don't want to, uh, you know, no one's forcing you to do anything, but I'm just going to step through. and I'm gone already. I go and jump through, too. I'm in. Okay, here we go. All right. Bromir steps in behind you guys. And he still has it saved. Ooh. I do. So you find yourselves in a uh, 
very freaky sort of disjointed bits of bits of land floating around in different places everything's very purple um you can hear like weird whispers in the background as you're uh, as you're just like taking in the scenery um it's clearly an area that is not it, it's from another plane of existence eh? what do you guys think trippy right uh, it will bring me a home if i'm going to be honest That's a bit disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty fucked up. This is terrifying. You hear that weird, like, fucking demon wind chime going? I hear a wind chime. I mean, yeah, it sounds like a, it sounds, kind of sounds like a regular wind chime, actually. It's probably demonic, I'm just saying. I don't know what that is. Is that a face in the cloud? Uh, Where? Where? I don't see it. Over there. I think I think it works more like a butterfly. It just said something. <laughs> Alright, I, I look around the area and see if we can figure out where Zelbrek's at. Alright, uh you look around, there's like this place. bits of um floating rock that seems to be forming a sort of pathway over to the large obelisk looking thing. It's not like obelisk, but like the large tower that you see. Basically, there's a there's a path. Yeah. I mean, you know, only we got one we can go. Let's do. Did Brummer come in? He did. Yeah, he came in behind you guys. He's just sort of mouth agape, just looking around at the moment. All right, so we head on down. Yep. All right. Um, as you head down towards the tower, it, like as you're walking up towards it, it looks like it's perfectly um, like there doesn't appear to be an opening. But as you get close to it, one of the big chunks of uh, rock just sort of like slides off to the side and hovers in the air to the left of the thing, uh, creating an opening into the into the tower. I mean, I mean, Davis, please, you're, this is your second home here, so please feel free to go first. I mean, I don't know about second home, but I just, you know, I was already said we're heading in, so I mean, I'm just going to keep walking. All right. Um, <clears throat> so apparently I have like something wrong with my throat today, so it's making it difficult to speak. Um, <clears throat> Uh, so you walk through the you walk through the opening. Um, uh, as soon as the last of you is inside, it immediately like quicker than it seems should be possible. The stone moves back into place and closes the uh, the tower behind you. Um, you find yourself standing in a in a giant room. It's much larger than should be possible, um, given the size of the tower from the outside. Um, and sitting way 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 down on the other end of it, um, you see a you see the shape of um, Zalabrak sitting in a, like a throne way down at the other end of it. You can't see him clearly from the other side, but it looks like he's sitting over there. All right. Start heading towards him. Keep walking. All right. As you get closer and closer, um, you start to notice that he, he appears to have, uh, bulked up quite a bit since you last saw him <laughs> uh he's very uh he's become very muscular um when you're about uh 200 yards away uh you notice that his skin is a a deeper more purple color than it was before it was kind of a um like a uh mahogany red sort of color before now it's more of a a deep purple color um, and as you get about a hundred yards away, you realize that his eyes are glowing purple, which they were not before. Uh huh. But it still looks like it's Zalabrax's face. Uh, I mean, it still very much looks like Zalabrax, aside from all the things that are different about it. Aside from being looks ripped, like, like you're you're not you're not personally very familiar with what demon lords look like. So I mean, I saw him once. I would think I would be able to recognize him at least well enough. 
I mean, he it, it looks like it looks like it could be Zalabrak, but changed. But it also looks like it could be someone else. Hmm. You guys keep walking. I'm just going to do something real fast. Uh, I kind of tilt to the side so that he like, you know, the view is obscured and I kind of whip out the crystal and I <laughs> try and call him, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you don't get an answer. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm for real, guys. You. Uh, fuck. You come here often? You didn't I really came tell here us once. about this place. Came here once, all right. Yeah, I guess and we've never seen him. So for us, it's just kind of like, is this and him? That doesn't look like him. Oh. I mean, it's possible me recharging the crystal for him. Uh. Got them all hulked up like that, but can you like? Do you guys have like a safe eyes, word or something? Purple eyes. Uh, look like what? What's her face had before when she went crazy? Remember? <laughs> have and you tried? He had more red skin than purple skin. Have you tried talking here? Talking to him? You know, he's heard your voice over the phone. Maybe he'd recognize you. You should go talk to him. What the? Wow. Fuck. Jeez. I guess I, saying, I, 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 I guess I could. Should, should Give I? me one more chance. I'm going to try and call him up again because he's not answering. I mean, this is a little weird. I just, I got a feeling that might not be him. It might be his rival, which is don't, a little fucking shitty because the portal took us right here and he said he, he was here waiting for us. So this is a little weird. I'm assuming maybe he bulked up. We can only hope. Let me call him one more time. Answer, no answer. No answer. Yeah, make sounds make a sound. Ah, can, you, can I hear the crystal ringing across the room? The other side. <laughs> <laughs> can I hear his phone go out? He, no? okay. he is. Uh, he's now standing up. How tall is he? Oh, I guess there's really not much we can do about this unless we turn and run. So let's just let's, let's just hope it's him. He is pretty tall. He is a little bit taller than Adobo. Oh. So actually really tall. God damn and ripped too. Jesus. Okay. Guess we slowly approach. Well, Sam Wells has anything else to say. With Davis in the lead. Everyone else is so fucking quiet. Davis. Because <laughs> well, this is your fucking friend, dude. Yeah, and I've already <laughs> tell, given you the signs that this might not be him and this is sketchy as fuck. Well, 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 well then you should ask you him something that only him, you guys should know. Oh, like you, you guys, you, mm -hmm. you guys clearly have a history. Bring up part of that history. Quiz his ass. All right. Fuck. And if he fails the quiz, well, we're going to find a demon lord in this plane of existence. Uh, We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> I think arrows work here, man. <laughs> Gravity didn't magically turn off, man. Except for those floating boulders. And that one, and that <laughs> yeah. one, and that one. All right. But well, you're walking around just fine, okay? As you guys are sort of arguing with each other, um, you hear a whisper like inside your head, uh, as though someone is whispering directly over your over your shoulder. Um, you just hear. Come close. I think you said Davos. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get that at all. Come close. Come close. Err? Come closer? Ask if, if he, he said come ask, close. Ask if he speaks English. No, I'm not Espanol. Alright, just keep walking, fucking Jesus Christ. That seems... I don't know. Again, fine. again, I maintain a short distance behind Davis. <laughs> everyone is maintaining a short distance behind <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> You're just walking in circles. Okay, there's right, whispers in the music, it. too. Oof. Alright. He, All right. We, we sort of... close the gap. Okay. That's why we can talk to him. Uh, Zalbrak? Uh, that's not really looking like you. Did you, did you get ripped? <sighs> Fucking the king. The king of deception here. Zalbrak, is that you? <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, not understanding you. I'm gonna need you to speak in your regular voice. I know you can. I'm assuming. You know what? Why don't you? Why don't you just talk? Why don't you tell us what's going on here? Because technically, this guy only just thinks that we didn't think he's Zalbrak. He doesn't actually, yeah, know anything else. Uh, wait. What? What did? What did you say to him? Hi. How, how's it going? I mean, yeah, basically. Hello. What the fuck was the other guy's name? Please Softman ask him shit? a question that only you two guys would know. Oh God. Uh. Mm, hey. Uh. Hey, buddy. Uh. It's, it's refresh me. How many times? Uh. Did you bring me back in that one time when you had me go off uh, on your errand? What? Oh God damn it! I was hoping you'd just say what, and then Chisel would have to respond with the uh, the way that you. <laughs> 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 Speak louder. <laughs> Go fuck yourself <laughs> and your stupid voice. I can barely keep up with your slow bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're making this worse. God, we're gonna be here for five hours. <laughs> Just ask him something. I did. This motherfucker ain't responding. <laughs> ask him what? Uh, ask, well, ask. Why are we oh, here? Fuck. Since you're clearly not who we came to see. So, um, you have, as you ask that question, he sort of tilts his head a little bit. And then you get a, a rush of just pictures in your mind. Um, you see uh, half water burning. You see the obelisk. You see the crystal that you're carrying. Um, you see Evelyn. Um, and you see the giant uh, squid thing that attacked uh, Bromir's. Um, what's it? His uh, ship. Just like as a, a random like flash of sudden pictures. Okay. That wasn't a butterfly in the sky. I'm telling you that right now. I mean, I got nothing, man. I mean. What do you want from us? Yeah, there you go. That's a good question. Uh, so he he looks at uh, he looks at you for a second and then uh, you just hear the whispering again. Just goes, God damn it. Sad. Right. Yeah, we came to see him, and clearly he's not here. <clears throat> well, you say, what do you want? Yes. And he said, Zalabrak. Yes. Ask him what his name is. Zothmar Wait, can you hear me? Shit. What's your <laughs> name? Dude. <laughs> 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 he just goes... Um. Yeah, he he whispers back. I'm gonna stop doing the whispering thing because it's taking forever. He whispers back, Zalanoth. Oh, fuck. Zalanoth, what? Yeah, it's the one that that Zalbrek. Is, is that the other one? <clears throat> Honestly, I can't I can't keep all these names. Is that that's the one that Zalbrek told us was his rival? No. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad you actually just said it because I would not have deciphered that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for your fucking pop filter right now. All right, so it's Zalanoth. It's fine. What? <laughs> what? All right, well, clearly he's not in right now. I guess we'll just we'll we'll come back in at a better time, all right? Like you just you have a great day now, and then we just kind of kind of look at Adobo. I'm like, get the penis. You you see the the image of the crystal flashing in your in your head a lot. Like to the point that it's almost now hard for you to see what's actually going around on around you because everywhere you look, you just see the same picture of yeah. the crystal, um, sort of li uh, sitting in the um, uh, the rubble at the the inn. We have uh, three of these things now, right? Well, two of them are technically the same one. One's just not like it's it it's before it went to the obelisk and then we found it. It's like a 
but it's a it's an earlier state of it. Two of the same. One of them is his. Okay. Shit. Should we? I said I already said get the penis ready. We can just warp the fuck out of here. Get right. your penis ready. Well, the the <laughs> isn't the isn't the penis the portal right now? Isn't it like did we just yeah. walk through like a giant fucking urethra or something? I mean, I assume it came on the other side. It came on the other side when we dropped out of uh, the time. I, mean, I don't know what it's doing on the other side, but it's just it's like it to pick it up or we just leave. Um, the portal is still open. I'm just right? saying we probably shouldn't just, stay here with just this. Just for thing. awareness, the portal is the, open, right? The portal didn't close after you walked through, but you can't see it from here. And yeah, uh, and also we're the, getting blinded by images in our heads. Yeah, and the penis would <clears throat> still be outside of the portal. Right. Um, but get your penis ready anyway. Wow. <laughs> You, you, we, it came through and followed us back through time, and it dropped on fucking his head. So I don't. It's, it's weird that it's still open. In the same spot. You know, whatever. Logistics don't care. That is unusual. Oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> All right. Should uh, we just? Make a run for it. it? Wa- I mean, it wants the crystal. Uh, it's fl- we can't run really because we like can't. You can't see. Idea. You cannot fucking see. This thing is clearly uh, more powerful than we can. Well, all of you, or is it just me? Because if it's just me, you guys can just grab me by the hand and fucking pull me out. Wait, oh yeah, that's a good question, actually. Is it all of us? That is seemed, what all of you? Is, is all, are all oh, of us blinded by these? The, the images? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, no. then yeah. Then there is no option to run right now. Um, let's just talk to this to this guy and see what he wants. Uh, because we oh, have fuck it. that's gonna take like little, 10 hours to talk to little, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll uh, <laughs> let's ask him if he has any kind of like you know outer dialogue instead of this inner dialogue shit it might be a little better right, I'll ask him uh, hey Zalanov vocal cords motherfucker do you uh, have can you vocal cords <laughs> what's what uh, what are we doing here crystal okay uh, can I can I just go ahead and assume that what you're saying is that you want the crystal? Goddamn, just nod yes or All no right. for fuck's sake. Uh, listen, we don't want to give it to you. That's kind of I, I feel like if, I feel like right guy right guys we don't want to. Don't, don't be so confrontational. Bitch. Yeah, Oh. Well, I feel like you <laughs> oh, oh, I almost had it now. <laughs> <laughs> you used his trigger word. <laughs> that was just, that was just wood, sir. I understand you want something, but you, there's no need for name calling. Adobo has feelings, and you should apologize to him right now. Sorry. Thank Such a you. Bitch. Wait, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> Wow, he doubled down on it. <laughs> I couldn't even tell yeah, if that was actually him or if somebody else like whispered in, in on like on his behalf. Like, it just fucking like, sounded the oh, same. Yeah, oh, I'm all hot headed now, Macy. Just hold me back. You better hold my earwings, dude, because I'm about to go in there. You do whatever you feel like you should do. Wait, Macy, just hold my hold me, hold me, hold me back. He's not gonna hold you back. Hold hold you back. back. My hands are in the air. I'm Matt, Macy, you. Macy, just hold me back, Jimmy. Just wait. Just wait. Anything stupid here? I think we could take him on as we are. Why, why are we not fighting him? I'm just saying. Because he well, can this... blind us with his fucking brain. <laughs> Plus, this is Davis's butt, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. The one who brought me back ain't this ripped. Yeah, that's not the one that's been no in his offense. butt. All right. There was another one in the in that ass. Um. The fuck are you going on about? <laughs> are you just missing your penis outside? Is that it? Is that you get more than ten feet away from it, and you start getting the shakes. My penis has done a lot for us. Okay. It only just came useful in the last episode, literally because it's the first thing you threw on the ground. Anyways. <laughs> uh huh. So, uh, let's. I mean, let's fucking just give it to him. We just fucking just, and then we could just leave because if we give it to him, clearly we could just fucking walk away, and then we'll be done. But uh, I realize it's probably not a good idea. Um, fuck, I don't know. 
Fuck it, you guys vote. I'm on. I I already know. I already said I I don't want to. So. Okay, you don't want to give it to him, but we can't leave. So the options are, uh, give it to him, or fight. Yeah. So you guys vote. I think we, I think vote. we could take him. I think we could take him. You think so? I mean, he is only a little bit larger than us, and you know, can again blind us with his uh, mind oh powers. Oh my god! You're but such sure, a bitch. just just sure. fucking cast your vote. Let's fight him. You're Fuck it. I'm down to bro, fight. I'm always down to fight. Let's do it. I hope he just whoops our ass. I hope he just fucking just. <laughs> Hang on one second. Actually, he would have to power this shit up just like Zalabrak had to get this shit powered up. I could probably just give it to him. <laughs> next next episode is us fucking getting going through and killing a thousand fucking demons <laughs> to charge this shit. This, shit up for this guy, are you kidding me? I already charged up the one that's not in my pouch that Zalabrak um, doesn't know about. Or I'm alone. scribbling together a really, really high quality map real Ooh, quick. Ooh, baby. Oh, we're just going to give him the crystal and peace out, so no need. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. All right. So, uh the way the room is laid out, you have uh He's standing on kind of a a little like pedestal thing still. Um like there's stairs stairs going up to him. Mm -hmm. Very very short steps like uh not 2 feet high uh off the ground. Um there are pillars to either side of you and you are here oh my god oh jesus he's only a little bit taller than uh than adobo much wider <laughs> <laughs> next note to self ask ask about girth <laughs> I rescind my vote. Sure, I'm so sorry we've interrupted your day. <laughs> you can have the crystal. Um. One second. As you are uh, sort of talking to him, um, a portal opens nearby you, and through that portal comes step. another group of us. From the future, oh, telling us to get the fuck out. <laughs> Hello, we are you from the future. Do the Brayman voice. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> we are you from the future. <laughs> oh man, that's really good. <laughs> I like when Chisel does it better. To be honest. All right. Uh, out next to you steps Zalabrak. Oops. Oh, See, dang. that's the one I know. Told you they look different. Oh my god, he's puny. No, he's. I just needed to make him bigger. Oh. He's not as big as the other guy, but he is pretty big. And he goes, Young ones, what are you? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, hey, yeah, thanks. Remember how you, yeah, your, your GPS coordinates a bit off? Um, Yes, um, hello, uh, Zalabrak, um, Zalanaf, I mean, I am Zalabrak, sorry, I'm a little, um, this is awkward. Um, and Zala, Zalanaf, or Zalanoth, is, uh, very, very displeased by this, and roars rather dramatically, and, uh, you guys should probably roll initiative. Ooh. Before we oh. get started, did... Did basically Zalbrak give us the wrong coordinates, or did Z Zothnar, or whatever the fuck his name is, uh, ambush us? I, 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 I'd, be, I'd be really funny if basically he gave us the wrong coordinates and we just kind of warped in on top of the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a that'll be a very interesting question to ask whichever motherfucker of the survives this. Holy shit! Where's initiative? It's gonna be on your card. I made a button for it. It's easier. Uh, I but get... yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, top center, above your current hit points. I got a weird error. You guys see my initiative, right? 
Yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah, I just didn't have the thing open. I didn't have the turn order thing open. It so would automatically be get weird grabbed now. by the turn order, essentially. Yeah. So Lord's gonna have to just punch our numbers in. Yeah, so. I'm gonna have to put them in manually. Oops. Um. Okay. Um, let's see, and, um, Gromir would be there as well. I'll roll for him. Call him Valtrex to piss him off. That'd be good. Is that how you would spell that? Moon. Um, what? Uh, Bromir, B R O M I R. Oh, three eyes. Yeah. Throwing away three eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Bromir. Way, way off. Okay, and then the bad guy. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, so his is, um, since he rolled a 20, his initiative is actually higher, so he's going to go before Davos. Yeah, I technically only rolled a 19. Yeah. So. Just again, what's this fucking? Actually, perfect. Malabrak and Zalanoth. Okay. Yeah. Can't fucking remember these names. Also, X. Really, I thought that'd be a, thought that'd be a Z. No, it's an X because. No, no, that's. I don't know, reasons. I know. I just, I just, I just envision him as a Z man. All right, let's get some. Let's get some shit. Uh, okay. the... Can we not? I just need one of. I need a. I need a decent fight. I need a. How's this one? Ooh, yeah, that's good. Uh, All right. God. So, Zalanoth gets the first turn. He just trundles down towards you guys. Uh, he's gonna take a a big swing with his giant chain, um, which is a cone attack. Uh. So the three of you directly in front of him, so that'd be Shizzle, uh, Thad, and Bromir, uh, need to roll a dexterity save to try and dodge it. Would that just be dexterity? Uh, it would be... Let me look. Uh, yeah, dexterity saving throw. So under the saving throws uh, box rather than just under dexterity. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. Oh, and, um, what's his name? All right. Um, so no one actually dodged it. Um, Rip. everyone takes six points of damage. Jeez. Oh, damn. All of us? No, uh, the no, three. Oh, okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, wait, I didn't roll. Uh, and that was his turn. Uh, Davis, you're up next. Shit. There we go. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I'll hit him with uh, all three rays of Scorch... Uh, all three rays of Scorching Ray. So... Oh, oh. Damn. Make three of those? And the fight is over. I. Because it's supposed to be three different rays, two six each. Yeah. Um. I think that means. That, let me look. Let me look at the description for scorching ray again. Uh. 
Um, make a ranged spell attack for each ray. Yeah, so you roll. Uh, roll that three times. times. Yeah. Oh. Just hope I get some other good ones. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> Suddenly and with then the dice. The damage. So one, two, three. Okay. The one just only got a three? Are you shitting me? Oh yeah, it's a one plus a two. Okay, so yeah. Oh wow, that's that's okay. Whatever. Oh so yeah, like and the twelve, fourteen, and three. That's some damage. I think it, I think it doubled the damage on the twenties, which I don't think is supposed to happen. Or it rolled the damage twice on the twenties. I think it's four and three and seven. Is it? I, I think I think the roll twenty because you hit the, uh, you rolled a critical for a oh. weapon attack on those. It rolled the damage twice, which is what you do with a weapon attack. But I don't think that's. Oh what yeah, you right now two d six. Yeah, there's no way I can roll a fucking. Yeah. Team. Yeah, so that'd be um, fourteen total damage to him, which is still pretty good. You just not got to one round him basically. I wasn't expecting to. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you done? Are you staying there? Um, I would probably want to move as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can move 30 feet, right? Uh, actually, you know, I can, oh, I can only move 30. So yeah, I'll just move to there. I can shoot fucking way beyond that though. Yeah. Is there, was it right there? Or there's it there? One, two, three, right there four, is fine. five. Six. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. All right, I guess uh, that's, my, that's my turn then. Okay. Uh, Macy, it's your turn. Oh, actually, hang on. I forgot something right before he did that. Uh, the second he hit me, I should I could have hit him with the Hellish Rebuke as well. Like immediately on, oh, like, yeah. on him hitting me, so. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so that's another 10 damage to him. Uh, unless he makes a DC 15 dexterity save. No. Which he did not. So the second yeah. he swings and hits, I just like point my finger and say "fuck you," and then he lights on fire. <laughs> and then I cast my rays, and then I run backwards. Okay, so he takes the extra ten fire damage. Also, then. Damn. That was uh, that was an effective effective couple of spells you cast. All right, now it's Macy's turn. He didn't forget that part. I'm gonna swing over here. Um... <laughs> he is back his cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast uh, Hunter's uh, Mark, and then shoot the bow. That's all I got. Okay. I take aim. The music's over. Yeah, it's supposed to loop, but it isn't. I'm gonna play a different one. Okay. Um. The 14 is a hit, yeah. So, uh, you do uh, six damage to him, and does the Hunter's Mark, that gives you an extra thing for damage, doesn't it? Hunter's Mark. Yeah, something like that. Here, I'll look <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, uh, extra 1d6. So do I, I roll that? Yeah, just roll another 1d6. Nice. Another 12 damage total to him. Very nice. Nice. I'm going to stay here. Okay. Uh, Brayborn. Brayborn's going to pick up both his hands and have them open and all the fingers fully extended. And he's going to put them up to his face. And he's going to use his blinding light. Are you blinding yourself? No, I'm blinding him. I think he's pointing his he's hands away. Oh, I'm you're, basically you're... <laughs> doing the the TN. Uh, what is it? What, what's the move? Yeah, wrestling move or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> Jesus. Oh wait, no, 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 no that's no, no, a Dragon no. Ball Z thing. Yes. No, yeah, that's uh, what the fuck is that shitty move called? I hate that thing. Uh, God, hang on, I can find the name of this shit. <clears throat> All right, so you're blinding lighting him. Yeah. Solar flare. Yeah. There Solar. You go. Solar flare. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we need uh, fan art of uh, Rayborn with the fucking Super Saiyan hair. Oh, color spray. There we go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and roll your sixty ten. Then he doesn't get a save. That's like that's a good fucking spell. Jesus. Son of a bitch. <laughs> or just keep linking color spray. Wow. You can do that too. Fucking way to fucking spam chat, bro. Yeah. The dice just pow, explode out. Okay. It's a total of 27 hit die worth of creatures that you can affect. Uh. How many hit points of creatures? Wait. Okay, uh, he has more than 27 hit points left, so I don't think he's actually blinded. Bye. Total is how many hit points of creatures this spell can affect. Subtract each creature's hit points from the total before moving on to the creature. Uh, a creature's hit points must be equal to or less than the remaining total for the creature to be affected. Okay, so yeah, it... It was not enough to have blinded him. Hmm. Aborn uses a solar flare. It's ineffective. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Brayborn moves, is he gonna? No, you'll be he... fine. If you can still your turn. Yeah, you can. You can move. What are these squares uh, behind us? Five feet. There are pillars. Oh yeah, those came. My bad. All right. All right, I'm going to move. Can I move there? I'm, I'm like on the side of the pillar, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right. I think that's all I can do, right? Uh, Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> all right, I'm done. Adobo. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just looking up real quick. Uh, Goading attack here. Guy's playing an ad, really. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you expend one superiority die to attempt to go the target into attacking you. You add a superiority die to the attack's damage roll. The target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the target has disadvantage on all attack rolls against other targets uh, than you until the end of the turn. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and use that. So I'll use one of my dice. I have four dice. I'm using one right now. Uh... Cool, yeah. And so I'm just going to go ahead and step in front of him because I'm tanking this encounter now. <laughs> 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 and uh, let's, let's see. Superiority die. Okay, so how do I go ahead and do this? Is it a... Well, let me read it again here. Um, you, add, you add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. So first I'm going to roll the attack, right? Go so flail yeah. attack. Yeah. Well, okay. That's a hit. And now... Uh, now I... Wait, shit. Now I roll the superiority die? Yeah. Four. Okay. Or did I do that wrong? Hold on. I, I don't entirely know what you're trying to do. Oh, okay. So, damn it. I said it. I, I, I read the whole fucking thing. Um, so I'm trying, I'm trying to basically taunt him, right? So first, okay. So I guess the first roll was basically me hitting him, right? And then I yeah. have to, oh, then I have to actually, okay. That's the, the step I skipped was actually doing the damage. My bad. Okay. So, okay. so now I'm, uh, I'm doing a, uh, okay. So cool. So yes, it's a hit. Uh, it's, uh, 10 plus four damage was 14 damage. Um, and then, you have to roll a wisdom saving throw. All right, yeah, you add, you add, yeah, you add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. Does this mean that you have to roll something that you have to roll a wisdom saving throw and it has to equal more than 14? Is that how that works? Hang on, yeah, I'm, I'm reading it. Okay. <clears throat> You add the superiority die to the attack's damage roll. Okay, so that'd be 14. 
and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, so yeah, he has to make a wisdom save. So you've done your 10 damage. Um, you then... So he has to make a 14 uh, wisdom save now, or Got else it. he has disadvantage on attack rolls against anyone that isn't you. Gotcha. So... And he made it. God damn. All right, well, at least I did 14 damage. <laughs> uh, you did 10 damage. I don't think the four, I don't think the superiority that I adds to the damage. Uh, it's exactly what it said, though. It says you add the superiority die to the, oh, oh, I see. You don't add it to the attack done. You add it to the roll, yeah, and that's the number think, that he must make. Got it. Okay, never mind. Yes, you're right. Yeah, Thank you. I think, I think that's how that works. Yeah, that, that's, that is how it reads. All right. You still did 10 damage, so. Okay. You still something. You, you, you slap him around a bit with your flail. Um, he seems mildly irked at you, but uh, not otherwise upset. Hmm. <laughs> Just a little miffed. <laughs> yeah. Bromir is going to take a few steps back, uh, produce a small flintlock pistol from his pocket, and fire it. Um, and hit it over. <laughs> <laughs> He's a famous pirate captain, not a famous marksman. Man. Um, and then Zalabrak I mean, is I feel going like it's to. Using a flintlock. I mean, there's no rifle on that shit. Zalabrak is going to walk up and uh, swipe at him with his claws. And uh, um, Zalanoth is able to sort of. Sh just shirk away uh, Zalabrax attacks. Guys, where's legs? We need legs for this. I know. <laughs> Still back at the boat, probably, boss. <laughs> um, so, Zalanoth, even though your goading attack didn't work, you have now presented yourself as the only real target in his immediate range. So he's going to swing at you with his sword. And that is a hit. Oh, you got lucky for three damage. Me, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He hits you for three damage mm -hmm. and uh, is otherwise just going to stand there. Uh, Davis. I don't know why your number is going up and everyone else is staying at zero. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm the same. I don't know. It's broken. Um, <laughs> I'm charging my laser. That's what it is. Uh, I'm wondering. Ah, uh, um, how many spell slots do I fucking have? I don't remember. I think I need to do another scorching ray. It's only 2d6, which is actually a max of 12. Fuck it, I'll just do an Eldritch Blast on it so I can hit more potentially for more spin that thing. So let's just do that. And I guess, uh, well, probably not. Uh, what is that? That's a, uh, it's a single spell shot. attack? Yeah, it's a spell attack. Okay, yeah, that's a, that is not a hit. Dang. But I got my hair in Lily Lays, though, from this music. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no. Is that, are you done? Yeah, I mean, I got nothing else I can really do uh, other than move, so. Okay. I'm good. You fire, you fire your Eldritch Blast at him, however, uh, he is too tricksy for your magics, and it just sort of absorbs into his hide. And would that make him a tricksy little hobbit? Tricksy little giant demon lords. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, have any more cereal. <laughs> um... I ran out of Wheaties, man, after the last round. Arrow shot. <laughs> Are we calling out abilities now? Is that after Thad's solar flare? <laughs> uh, that's a hit. Fantastic. Ouch. Yeah, but uh, five. You also still have your one d six from the um, hunter's oh, mark. Yes. Yeah, there you go. 
So your uh, your arrow, uh, it's uh, you don't as you let loose the arrow, it doesn't feel like a great shot. Like you you kind of as your as the bowstring falls away, you're like, eh, that wasn't very good. Um, but in the air, the arrow sort of like corrects itself and uh, connects with uh, basically like his side um, and sticks in there. Yeah. And deals a fair amount of damage. Huh. Uh, <laughs> Brayborn. All right. Brayborn moves a giant dice off of his face. <laughs> I'm going to do... I'm going to make a silent image right next to Mike. Which I'm definitely in range to do that. Basically, I'm going to try and put it. How do you do the little, the little pingy thingy? Uh, hold down the mouse, like hold click on a spot. Or that works too. <laughs> there we go. I gave him a chin hawk too. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to put that down there, and it's going to basically be an exact... Wait, actually, hold on. Silent image. My god, it's like there's two mics now. Yeah, yeah. that's what I want to do. I want to make a copy of Mike, basically, Wait, to, guys, to distract... I feel like uh... I'm being taken back to, like, 15 Mog. <laughs> it's all green. <laughs> so, yeah, I put that down next to Mike. <laughs> and it's an exact copy of how Mike looks. Mm-hmm. Sexy. And a combat okay. stance, I'm guessing. Yeah, in a combat then. No, it's in a T, a T pose, animation pose. Um, and I only get to do one of those a turn, right? Uh, yeah, that was your action. Okay, and then I'm gonna move my character to the other side of the pillar. It's like an arena match. <laughs> it's a fucking pillar humping, exactly. <laughs> 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 I'm done. All right. Um. He gets a uh, intelligence investigation check against your spell save. Oh, but he did not make it. Mm. So he's now confused as to how there are two mics. <laughs> uh, Dobo. Oh, let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna try anything fancy <laughs> this time. I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna swing on him. Okay. Fuck, <laughs> man. And it's a good thing too. All right. So as you you swing your flail around, um, <laughs> you hit the image next to you. It passes directly <laughs> through the image, thereby. Uh, Making it fairly clear that that is a that is not a real thing that's actually oh, standing there. Oh no! <laughs> My God! I mean, it was a plus five on the one. I mean, you know. You <laughs> fucked it up. <sighs> All right. Wait, wouldn't Mike have to do a intelligence check against the image? <laughs> the, the, <laughs> not really. You're gonna make me do that. The I'm problem just, is the problem is just that like he he failed hard enough at his role that when he went to attack the demon thing his his thing just passed through the the image which um reveals it to be an illusion. Okay. Damn it, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> you wasted that turn basically. <laughs> I know. I know. But you're wasting your own as well. Uh Bromir fires a shot that actually lands. Squarely in Mike's back. No, he did. He did five damage. He's uh, he's almost as good as his kid at shooting things. Um, and then Zalabrak is gonna. I slash mean, he's only at a fifty percent rating. I mean, Macius is at a hundred percent right now. I said That's almost. Fifty percent or a hundred percent? Almost sure. Zalabrak isn't very good at things though. Um, Zalanoff is gonna. He, there's a reason he had me charge up the crystal for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, half of the sound image is disappearing. <laughs> oh. So Zalanoth goes to attack uh Mike, but uh he's like with his with his whip thing goes to attack Mike, but uh as he whips it around, uh he's whipping it around as he's dodging uh Zalabrak uh attacking him. So Zalanoth whips his uh whip around but miscalculates how he's dodging a little bit, actually 
manages to clip himself with the tip of it. Um, and does nine damage to himself. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> he fucking kills himself. <laughs> All right. Uh, Davis. Um... Hmm. Is he looking pretty fucked up yet, or does he still look like he's got plenty of plenty he's, of life to go? He no, he's uh, you notice he's like shaking his like head around a little bit, trying to like uh like like he's having trouble seeing clearly. Um, mm. he's definitely sort of wobbling a little bit side to side. You guys have managed mm -hmm. to beat him up quite a bit. Okay, well then, forget using the hexen. I'm just gonna pop him. With no, it'll just blast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, I can barely see it. My turn over. My I know, turnover I know. I saw well. one. I, like I saw one. one. I, like, I don't know what it is, oh, but God. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, that was a hit, and uh, you do ten damage to him. Hurl a giant beam of light right over Mike's shoulder and just hits him right in the fucking shoulder or some shit. Yeah, you uh, you send a uh, a big old, uh, well, an Eldritch Blast basically, um, directly at him uh, and it collides with his side and sends him reeling a bit. Uh, he's very clearly now um, starting to stumble quite a bit from uh, from all the... I was going to point out, it's basically Macius and myself who've done all the work and a little bit of Bromir. Mike, you've been doing great, but I you want do you want to do you want to come stand in front of the no, giant no, 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 fucking no. I'm just, demon? I'm just pointing out that like Zalabrak I'll swap I'll like, swap places with you. I'll right. stand thirty yards no, back. You've been you've been trying to tank. At least you're trying to do stuff. <laughs> Zalabrak's over there, like just like clawing at him, like it's like a cat fight, you know? Like, <laughs> and let's just summarize what Brayboard's done so far. He solar flared and then fucking made a picture of Mike, which Mike then smacked in the face. <laughs> this is a very interesting battle this far. <laughs> okay. All right, you're, uh, doing, you're doing the job yeah, tanking, Mike. You're doing I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying here. You keep uh, him right there. Fire more arrows. Arrows away. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. That's a noisin'. Yeah. Don't forget that uh, extra D6. Yep. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Damn. Damn. That was almost max damage. A one point shy of max damage. That's uh, 17 showing damage. Off in front of his dad. Yeah. So, uh. I look to my dad and nod and smile. As he releases it, <laughs> yeah, he looks exactly. at him, he yeah. locks eye as he releases it. You literally, yeah. Like, you, you line up the shot. <laughs> Turn to look at your dad, nod Weak. and smile, and then without looking back, let loose the arrow. <laughs> Collides directly with the side of uh, Zalanoth's head uh, and sticks in deep. He is he is fucked up at this point. I'm not going to lie. That would have been hilarious if he had done that and it sailed right over and hit Because <laughs> <laughs> he has the perfect path for that shot. <laughs> uh, Brayborn. I'm going to use uh, Scorched Ray, which is the the three spells. Okay. You're going to that click is it uh, a hit. two more times. Yeah, you roll, you roll three times. That's the damage for one. So that's the damage for the first one. Okay. No, that, that's... You have to roll the you have to roll the spell attack three times also. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me click it. It's it's three beams that you have to roll separately for each of them. Second one connects okay, as well. Is so we'll just we'll stick with the damage roll for the other one, and then just go ahead and do the attack roll and the damage roll for the third one. Okay, Ooh. never mind. Never mind on the damage roll for the third one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's, a, that's a wrap on that one. Uh, that is still seventeen damage. Um, inspired by. Macius's courage, Brayborn decides to actually fucking do something for once uh, and just lines up these three short but very well targeted beams of fire. Well, two of them were very well targeted. One of them flies off and uh, nearly clips Adobo, uh, but the other two connect directly into 
Zalanoth's head and then directly into his uh, neck. And those two beams uh, cause... Uh, they, 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 he actually completely catches fire. Uh, and he just sort of steps back and starts shrieking. Uh, and as he's standing back, stumbling, you can see he's actually starting to deteriorate directly in front of your eyes. Uh, and eventually he just completely dissipates into uh, into ash and falls to the ground. Gewing, whoa! Yeah. I think you mean fatality. I went... Okay, that's, that's, what that's what he meant. That's what he meant. Right there. We rejoice. So yeah, you, you done killed him. And I immediately run up to start checking for loot. <laughs> uh, okay. So you, you search around in his pockets. There isn't much on him. Uh, his... As soon as he fell, uh, it, like it's basically a pile of ash at this point. Um, as soon as he fell, the uh, whip that he had, uh, it stopped glowing with any amount of magic. Um, so that's uh, it, it. It just seems like a regular whip now. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Goodbye. There we go. <laughs> There's so many little tiny things that, because each little like stroke is a separate thing. Um. You search, search around in the pile of ash. Um, you do find uh, some very, very shiny looking crystals, which you can probably like they, you don't think they're particularly magical, um, but you can probably sell them for a fair amount of gold back so in the, the, gems. the normal world. Yeah. Gems, then. Yeah. Uh, should I just add gems to my inventory or? Uh, yeah, like a handful of gems or something. Wait, like that. you're not you're not going to fucking mass loot this shit. You're just going to like just take it. <laughs> Jesus, I'm I'm sorry. Did I... I actually, all right, fine. You, you, all right, you fine. No, some? it's you know, fine. Actually, I didn't. I didn't offer. I didn't offer you your ring. Actually, do you you, you want you want he's, some gems, man? He's buying dinner next time. Yeah, right. Seriously, the lobster house. <laughs> Wait, didn't I give? No, motherfucker, I gave you the dexterity ring. I've already handed some of the shit back. All right, it's just some fucking gems. Don't worry about it. Measly dexterity. You probably got more money than I do already as well. I mean, I do have a, I do have a portal penis, so I suppose I have that going for me. Did you really re label that? Portal, portal penis? penis. That's a good name. I should actually. <laughs> yeah. And Can, make, uh, sure that, make sure both P's are capitalized because it's like a named item. Yeah. Because right now, good. maybe I tell italicize it as well. <laughs> Can Brayborn uh, dump the the bottle of grog that he has and try and put some of the ashes in it? <laughs> He's gonna get demon ash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. How much would he would he be able to fit all of it in that bottle? No, not all of it, but you could get a you could fill up the bottle with it basically. All right, I'll fill up the bottle with the like like he'll make sure to dump all the crap that's already inside it out, and then he'll try and fill it up with uh, demon ashes. Okay. Everyone, what are you doing? The demon ashes get very like the inside of the bottle is still damp, so a lot of it sort of uh, clogs up sides. pretty quickly. Yeah. But you do manage to eventually fill up the the bottle with demon ash. Rayborn, do I even want to know what you're gonna do with that? Don't worry about it, dude. Just you know, mind your business. <laughs> All right. So Zalabrak, thanks for joining us. Yes, it is good that I arrived when I did. It was clear that you needed my aid. Yeah, because I, you, you totally helped us out with that fight right there I yes really, yes yes this I was all really me. appreciate it as yes. i really sarcastically exactly like, like a look to macy's yes. and adobo and whatnot but you obviously zalbrek can't text sarcasm because it's, sarcasm it's isn't good that you are so humble uh -huh. <laughs> I, I appreciate it yes i'm so glad so <laughs> what happened we, we ca i called you up and you said you're gonna open a poll right here did you what what why did why was he here i is this not your place they all I, look very similar here well, you see, young one, uh, when summoning such a portal, accuracy is mm, I called it. I difficult. knew it. I fucking knew it. I, um. Did you drop us in Zaladoth's fucking house? No, I simply missed. 
Uh, you know yay. what? I'll take it. All right. So. <laughs> So what should we do with this then? I pull out the crystal that the uh, you know Zonloth was wanting. Uh, as you pull it out, is it, it out, glowing? It is no longer glowing. It was glowing before. I didn't it remember was, it was glowing yes. before. The yeah, the one that the one that Macius found in the the uh, burned out in was glowing. Oh. I well, did say that. Oh. Mine was brighter. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure we actually had a conversation about how it was brighter and shinier than the one that you had. Did we? I don't think we did. We did. <laughs> was I not there for that? I didn't doze off. To, whatever. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. My, Mike Maybe made a like penis joke stuff. about it. I remember. Yeah. Wait. Oh, so it. Back sorry. Back. So what do we do now? Now we have three. We have a. We have a. A, a past. Orb. We have a, a present well, orb. Well, the past one we have to go take back to the obelisk eventually. No time limit on that one. The one, the one that's powered up. I'm assuming I'm still gonna keep it. I toss, like I said, I toss the the dead one to him now. To Zalabrak. Okay. Yes. You. I will analyze this crystal. Don't miss. In in fact, if you <clears throat> would like, I can also take the other crystal and put it back myself. That would be good, yeah. Uh, I toss him the uh, the earlier version. Excellent, young one. I mean, I'm just gonna, so, assume, I'm just gonna assume that was uh, that the was, right thing to do. That was that was your rival. Like, uh, how do you, you want to talk about this, man? Like, how do you feel? You're right. I am pleased to finally be rid of this one. How long has he been bugging you? Not long, really. You know, only. A few thousand years. <laughs> so I'm sure you're very happy and, you know, possibly going to give a nice healthy reward to the people that destroyed him for you. I am ecstatic. Can't you tell? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I am positively brimming with enthusiasm. So how about a reward? Ah, uh, yes. Such things are valuable to your kind. He, uh, sort of, like, waves his hands around for a second as though he's casting a spell. Um, and, uh, summons forth a large, uh, chest. And he sort of, uh, taps the top of it and goes, Everything inside is yours. To share. Why'd you, at, why'd you look at me like that? <laughs> Do as you will. I care not. And then... Uh, thanks. Uh, he uh, he walks off towards where you guys came in. Um, wait, hang on. Before you, before you go. What? So... Uh, is, is the crazy lady still out there? Like, she was, like, working for him, but he's dead. And we we thought we killed her and tossed her body over into the ocean. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, is there anything else you need us to do before you, before you exit stage left right now? Hmm. I <laughs> suspect some of Zalanoth's magic may still linger. But I cannot be sure. I've been wrong about these things before. Really? Oh, you don't see. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everybody well, jumps I... down his fucking throat. <laughs> 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 Motherfucker dropped his cell on his arch nemesis. The fuck do you think we're going to do? All right. Well, I appreciate you stepping in when you did. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Happy to help. <laughs> Thank you for shopping creepy purple place. <laughs> I'm so happy He's we look, got this. The looking around awkwardly is the best. <laughs> 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 he looks around to get approval from everybody. Everyone's already Ooh. being just sarcastic assholes this entire time. You can't even tell. So he walks off uh, towards <sighs> where you guys came in. Uh, he also... Uh, um, he casts a little spell that pushes open that rock that slammed shut behind you guys also, so that the way, the way is now is open. open now. Yeah, cool. and you can see off in the distance that the portal is still active back there. 
All right. Well, shall we, gentlemen? As I well, yeah. kick open nope. the lid to the chest. What's yeah. in here? Okay, so you you open up the chest, and inside you find a uh, pretty substantial amount of gear. Like it's actually pretty good looking stuff. Um, there is inside. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's it's also fairly clear that he's tailored it specifically towards you guys, understanding like what it is that you do and so on. Uh, so there is a uh, an arcane focusing staff of uh, of some kind. Um, there is a, um, a short dagger that also seems to have a high amount of magical energy coming off of it. Um, there is a double flail, uh, inside. Oh. Wait, wait, Hank, but what? It's, it's literally a flail with two things on the end rather than just one. Okay. So instead of a chain with like one ball, it's, cha it's a two chains with two balls. This is good. Yeah. This is good for when, uh, when Braeburn gets his double, double, uh, Mirror image spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's basically, yeah, it's it's basically a long phallic shaped off off uh, object with two balls attached by a chain to the end. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So it's one chain, two balls, or two chains, two balls. Uh, two chains, two balls. Oh, okay. One one very strangely penis shaped stick. Like, it's pretty clear that. Zal uh, Zalabrak <laughs> was picking up on the cues. fact that you've been carrying around. <laughs> so the, the wood is actually he's shaped like, like that and everything. He's it's like, like even yes, wow. this is something that he would enjoy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he loves the penis. <laughs> I think I've given up uh, the wrong signals here. <laughs> and there's also a um, a very shiny golden uh, like musket inside as well. Like a uh, a rifle. Macius, think fast. I said, toss him with the musket. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. That, that was him thinking so fast that it didn't even make words. <laughs> <laughs> that response alone. Is that an athletics check at that point? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Macius manages to catch the thing. Yeah, there we go. Good, good. <laughs> you do manage to catch the thing. It, you kind of drop your bow in the process and sort of fumble around a little bit, but you do manage to grab a hold of the of the musket. Um, it feels very, very light in your hands. Uh, and like as you you sort of po point it around the room a little bit, you find you're you're really able to snap it directly to um, where you want to be aiming. <laughs> um, almost. Almost as though there's a little bit extra. <laughs> I love the spinning around. <laughs> it's almost as though there is some sort of. Uh, it's almost magical, basically, how you sort of you you think of a direction that you want it to be pointing in, and just your arms move without you really even having to think about it to point it directly at uh, at where you want to aim. Claimed. Musket of aimbot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, I, I, reach, I, reach in, <laughs> I reach into the chest and I pull out the the uh, the flail. Ah, right, hey, hey, uh, Adobo, don't don't stroke this one too hard as I'll a hand. I'll try. The, 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 the handle. I've already put it in my. I've already put it in my inventory. Double headed flail, though. As you as you pick up the uh, the the mace, or the the flail. Uh, the handle feels a bit soft and floppy as you pick it up, but as you hand it over to Adobo. Oh my God. <laughs> Please tell me it's flaccid until he strokes it and stick it into combat. No, it's just, it, it really, it's really, really happy to see Adobo. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I, I, I hold up uh, the staff in one hand, the dagger in the other. Uh, Brayborn, take your pick. I'll take the staff. <laughs> All right. Toss it over to him. All right. So, um, Brayborn, as you as you grab a hold of the staff, um, there's like a, a, a crystal, um, a sim similar crystal to uh, uh, the ones that uh, these demon lords have been using. Um, but it's more um, directly shaped, like someone's been actually working on it rather than it just being a, a chunk of crystal that someone found somewhere. Um and as you you sort of hold on to, it, <clears throat> excuse me, hold on to it, 
Um, you feel like it's 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 sort of um, the magic in the room is kind of drawn towards the crystal. Um, can you roll Arcana for me? I was really hoping you're gonna say that. Okay. I was really um, hoping you're gonna say the crystal is shaped like a chicken. It can chicken's be. Chicken's head. Shaped like a chicken's head. Yeah, that'll work. Um. So you you sort of realize that um, if you cast a spell, you can channel it through this staff uh, and that will amplify the effect of the, the spell. Oh, OK. What do I put in my character sheet? Um, uh, you can just put like it doesn't need a name or anything, just like powerful magic staff or something. Would it be an equipment or would I put that in spell casting and attacks? That'd be cool. Um, yeah, under equipment. So I'm guessing that what's adds a spell level to his attack. Um, something like that. Yeah, I haven't figured out exactly how it's going to work yet. And having like better weapons and all that shit doesn't actually, unless it has an effect attached to it, it doesn't actually enhance yeah, so anything. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll go through the actual effects. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Um, gotcha. Once we're done. Okay. Um, and so Davis, as you're investigating the dagger, um, you can sort of tell like this is a this is a sacrificial dagger that someone has used, uh, previously to. Uh, for a long, long period of time. Um, it's really, really old. Um, and you can sort of tell um, as you sort of focus on it a little bit, um, you can just like feel that there are souls trapped in it um, that have been, it's been used to sacrifice in the past. Um, and that there's like hundreds of thousands of souls trapped in this thing. Um, and so... Um, your your inclination as you're sort of holding it, you can actually kind of hear it whispering to you a little bit. Um, and it sort of indicates to you that every time you cast a spell, um, a soul will uh, be freed from the dagger, which will also uh, do some extra effect. The fuck? Mm. I got a flaccid flail that gets a rex when I like <laughs> probably grab it two by the hilt. Swings with it, bro. He's got two different fucking balls on two different chains. When you swing it, probably hits twice. No, it's like that That's fucking stupid that. clacky ball thing. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Three of you got really cool things, and one of you got a penis. <laughs> a penis clacker. What? Penis clacker. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, I. Uh, uh, Mike, your um, your super fancy flail, um, you just always get advantage when you roll with it. Um, I type in clack into Google, it comes with clacker balls immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. I, you got a pair of spike clacker balls. So wait, I get I get advantage every time. Yeah, you always have advantage when you roll with it, um, and you you roll damage twice. If you crit with it, you have rolled damage four times. Whoa, wait, okay, wait, wait, okay. So, oh yeah, I get advantage, and then I rolled, so I get, so this thing does double damage. Yeah, the both balls will connect and, and deal damage. And the, the flaccidity of it is actually important. It will, it will flex to, um, th that's why you have the advantage, is that it will actually flex to attempt to uh, deal damage. <laughs> this is weird. To attempt to hit things, yeah. It's just, only it's only penis shaped because that idea occurred to me in the middle of trying to describe it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it actually gets, it's a it's a flail that uh, it's a so a double ended flail like that is normally very difficult to use and you end up hurting yourself more than anyone else with it. Right. Um, so this is a magic one that actually uh, curves itself in various ways to keep it uh, keep itself under control. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And Adobo shall call it the helicopter dick. No. It's it's also a flaccid penis sometimes. I'm gonna call um, it I'm gonna call it shizzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm uh, ready to fuck shit up, I guess. I mean he saw those twenties at the start of the battle. I mean I'm just saying. I pull out my shizzle and I begin to stroke the hilt. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, this is just getting weird, man. You gotta rename it already. That's just... <laughs> Uh, Macius, your uh, I'm not gonna lie, Mike. I feel like there should be like the little the the face right here. You know, that face should be on the end of it. <laughs> your <laughs> not on the head. <laughs> your rifle, uh, it will always hit 
unless you roll a natural one, it will always hit. If Jesus. you roll, wow. Uh, if you if when you roll, you roll as though uh, ba- basically misses are now hits. Hits are now critical hits. With the gun. With the gun, yeah. Oh shit! Wait, hits are now crits. Yeah, so you you roll like you're going to hit, and if it beats the thing's armor, then that's a crit, regardless of whether if it was a twenty or not. We should just fight Zalabrak right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? He one makes this shit, man. Let's go no, do some more fucking lo- like grocery shopping for him or something like that, you know? <laughs> grocery oh, shopping. Oh, you, you need some blinds cleaned here. Let's just Brayborn, go clean his blinds real fast. You, you need to walk your dog Dobo, go walk his dog. Uh, oh, he needs some laundry folded. I got that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's just go do all his laundry fucking list, get more shit. <laughs> um so is so, there yeah. a different attack on this uh, gun than my bow? I would think it'd just be a ranged attack. Oh. Basically now, like, your ranged yeah. attacks are basically guaranteed. Yeah, it'll... It, um, yeah, it's still... It's it, basically the same stats as your bow. Um, aside from the... It always hits, and if you roll a hit, then it's a crit. So you do double damage. Always hits. Yeah, unless you roll a natural one. A natural one is still a fail, but... And you can still shoot somebody in the foot. Yeah. Nice. But a two uh, will hit, basically, then. Is that what you're saying? A two will hit, yeah. Jesus Christ. That means he could basically be pointing at Brayborn and pull the trigger and he'll curve over and hit the fucking demon. No, he has to look at his dad and wink and smile. And then. <laughs> <laughs> While he shoots his junk and it still curves, the bullet curves away. <laughs> Can he do this, dad? Sup pops. Sup pops. <laughs> yeah. uh, He's going to do like anything? 360 no scope trick shots. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bromir didn't get anything, no. He he Aww. feels sad and left out. He has a he has a, pr- a sense of pride and accomplishment just for being here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He hasn't put enough hours in yet. What is the uh, so? What does the staff do? So the staff, um, when you when you cast a spell, um, if you channel it through the staff, so basically it, it's always unless you don't have the staff or don't want to channel it through it for some reason, um, it will always cast the spell. If it's a damage spell, it will um, you'll get one extra damage roll. So like the um, uh, the two D what is it two D ten that the uh, um, scorching ray was doing, you roll three D ten instead. You just add one extra die. Okay. Um, and if it's a non damage spell, then you increase the spell level by one. Oh wow! Okay. So you cast it as though it was a level higher. Um, and then the dagger, um, aside from being a pretty decent dagger, if you want to actually stab somebody with it, um, the dagger is the fun one because I'm just going to make up something that it does every time <laughs> that you cast a spell. So, but have you played Skyrim? I've played it, but I don't know what you're referencing from it. Uh, so it's basically a Jabberwocky. The Jabberwocky. It's basically a staff that just picks a random spell effect and just does that when you cast it. Yeah, so more it could turn less. something into a chicken on one hit, and it could turn into a giant fireball nuke in the next hit. Yeah. Oh my god! Always, I would love the rolls on this. It would always it'll <clears> always <throat> be a beneficial thing. Um, because the souls that are escaping are um, thankful. They're thankful. Let out. Okay. Yeah. But so anytime I cast a spell, or anytime I kill. Anytime you cast a spell. Okay. So it, it can be something like, "Hey, I wonder if this is a thing," and you cast identify. Um, and then it will also it could cast sense magic. So you get to see other stuff that's nearby or it oh, could decide okay. to cast um, <laughs> silent image and summon a picture of Macius next to you. Like it'll, so it'll, just it'll be not be harmful, I guess, is a better way to put it. The beneficial is be neutral. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm just going to be sitting there identifying shit later on the boat and this randomly Macy's going to pop up. Oh, what's up, Macius? He's <clears> not going to sit there and do anything. God damn it's another fucking fake one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make a little table that I roll against to figure out what it's gonna be, so I'm not just directly making it up. Uh, every I'm time. being told there is. Uh Ark says there is a wild magic chart in the sorcerer's section. Wild magic can fuck shit up, and you definitely don't want to use that. Well, I mean I can I, I could actually use that and then uh if I get a result Eliminate that would be bad. Okay, no, yeah, then I just roll again. Yeah, that would work. I'd yeah, forgotten about that. That way you don't have to uh, actually like, do it. Magic is basically like a certain spec. I think it's uh, something uh, Thad could have gone into. 
where basically every time you cast a spell, it picks some of this giant chart and it could just it could really fuck up your party or it could really fuck up the enemy or it could just basically do nothing. Yeah. It's like adding extra RNG on top of RNG. Yeah, I might use that then. And just if it's a fuck up your party thing, I just won't use it. I'll roll something else. Cool. So so let me ask then. For that staff, you said if it's not a damaging spell, it'll basically just bump up the spell into uh, the next level for the Pro staff? You could probably up your color spray, I imagine. Does that also um, apply for like healing spells and shit? Yeah, so it does, uh, most of those spells should have something like um, uh, so, some of them it, it won't do anything like silent image. It won't do anything because you can't get more silent or more image out of that. <laughs> yeah, um, but for color spray, it says uh, at higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of second or higher, roll an additional 2d10 for each slot above the first. So you would roll an yeah. extra 2d10 for so you could have gotten an extra 20 extra HP that it could have potentially affected. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <clears throat> and so for like Scorching Ray, I want to say it adds an extra ray as well. Uh, it's a damage spell. Yeah, it will. Uh, well, let me actually look at what Scorching Ray does, because maybe maybe we want to uh, say At higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of third or higher, you create one additional ray for each slot uh, above the second. Oh, okay. Um, maybe we want to just have it always, rather than doing the weird extra die thing. Maybe we just want to always make it. Um, well, you could just have it. I mean, I don't know. You can have spell. it. You can have it do either or. I mean, I don't know. That's up to you. Yeah, let's let's just make it always be that it does a higher. If you, um, if you have a spell that can do something at higher levels, then it will it will go additional one additional spell level when you okay. cast the spell. So, like for scorching ray, it will add the extra um, additional ray, basically. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, I think we're probably good to stop there. And we can pick this up. Ooh. Um, so, next time. probably. Was, was Macy's fucking rifle golden? Did you say that? Or was it like shining? It's, so it has, um, if you think of like a typical musket, the parts of it that would normally be just iron. Ah, they, it's they got look gold. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's just it's it's basically just sparkly. Fucking robots. Fabulous. It's a fabulous weapon. Jesus. I want to see <clears throat> uh, Macy just do like a jumping backflip, like shot midair. I'm just saying. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's that's the thing, Moon. You're gonna have to do that with every shot. You're gonna have to come up with some creative bullshit you show off. Just... Your entire turn is basically you just running around finding spots to parkour and jump off of, and <laughs> once you're midair, that's when you take your attack move, and exactly. you just don't miss Beep. ever. Oop. Robot speed. Oh, it's not just me. Okay, good. Yeah, it's good, good thing we're ending here. Yep. Yeah. All right, GG's, guys. You guys also... Oh, there you go. We're back. Of course. Okay. <laughs> you also, for defeating uh, Zalanoth, you each get 1,000 experience points. Mother of God. God damn. I mean, we're not leveled up, but that's that's a lot of XP. But we got some sick loot. And yeah. Mike got a flail. <laughs> yeah, I got We also got uh, probably, um, depending on how, like, you probably only have one or two more sessions in this particular adventure. Um, well, that's up. where I get all the good shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, potentially. <laughs> we'll see. Um... But yeah, we, we probably only have one or two more of this. Um, we can, we I, like, I can always come up with more stuff for you guys to go and do, but you probably only have one or two more sessions in this, like, little mini storyline. Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. cool. We're going to go see the queen later. Or not. Oh, the queen. I, yeah, we got to see the queen. I mean, we, we don't have to. We don't yeah. have to. Oh, Bromir well. could just say, fuck that shit. Or we can send Bromir off. And then we'll have to save him again in the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Good All shit. Right. Yep. Right, dudes. Peace, boys. Have a good one. Later. See you.